Hello. <laughs> That was real. That was. I'll tell you what, that was real. Welcome to High Rollers d and I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Uh, oh boy, already we're kicking off today in a, in a high energy, because man, I'm just so happy with my team. We've been fighting, everybody. We're not. Oh. <laughs> we we yeah. Never mind. We'll get back to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Body breathe. Body breathe. Chill. Well, okay. Cool. Relax. To a lovely, warm... Uh, Sunday Small. here in the UK. Yep. I'm in Dungeon Master Mark Sherlock Humes. I'm joined, as always, by my wonderful players that I love dearly. We've got Rhiannon, <laughs> we've got Trot, we've got Kim. I broke my glasses. On the other side, we got Tom, we got Katie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, welcome. Uh, we're going to be jumping into it. A little bit late start. Sorry, we were trying to sort out some stuff beforehand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. A couple of quick announcements. Are we? No, we're not. No, no, I meant we're going to get to the game in a minute. Yeah, a couple okay. of quick announcements, real quick. Uh, if you haven't seen already, we now finally have our TwitchCon live game up on YouTube and podcast. Yes. Uh, they are all out now. Um, thank you very much, Twitch, uh, for helping us get all of that and putting it on and doing this amazing show. Um, <laughs> oh, <throwing me> <laughs> We've got the TwitchCon game. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is a prologue. It is a sneak peek at the upcoming setting for Campaign 3. That setting, Campaign 3 is a long ways off. We're still going to be doing Erois. Lots yeah. of confusion in YouTube comments on Twitter. A lot of people like, oh, why are they finishing Erois? We're not finishing Erois. It's going to take us a little bit. But next year, when Campaign 3 starts, but for TwitchCon, we wanted to do something that's going to show off the world. We didn't. We wanted something that was fresh and new for new audiences, so that's why we did it. Mm -hmm. Also, Kim's going to be there for Campaign 3. She yeah, wasn't at yeah. TwitchCon, but Kim will be there for Campaign 3. So go and check that out if you've not seen it already. There's no spoilers for Erois or anything. It's a completely brand new setting, brand new story, brand new campaign. So you can go and watch that prologue. Happy as Larry, without also, any worries. Also, those are not the characters we're playing in Campaign yes. 3 here. Oh, yes. Those are just for that what? one shot. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, Probably. Well, you've seen the Amazing. ending. <laughs> well, go and watch the episode. Go and we'll find it. out. Go and watch it. <laughs> spend days. Yeah, I'm Working sure you on did. the backstory yeah. for Reg. Ooh. Ooh. Awkward. Ooh. Anyway, Ooh. and then the other last thing <laughs> is if you head over to our uh, Fresh Merch store, if you go over to our merch store with Fresh Merch, uh, we currently have a bunch of mystery merch bundles. Trying to you know, you buy a bundle, you might, ooh, what are you going to get? <laughs> I don't know. What is this goblin? Ooh. 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 Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, Chris, <laughs> walking. Uh, anyway. Uh, but yeah, mystery merch bundle over on the Fresh Merch store. I think that they've been out for a little while, but mm -hmm. just throwing out the reminder there that you can go and it's like a discounted, you get a bunch of different merch yeah, at like a, a discount shirt. price. Yeah, a bunch of two size. accessories. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You choose your size. size so you won't, you're not going to get something that won't fit you. Yeah. Uh, and then it could be it could be a mystery T-shirt. Who knows? The mic. It could be a <laughs> a mystery and two accessories. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay. And it's to a uh, clear clear <laughs> space for some exciting new things. Yes. So no, yes. We've got to so go and buy the old stuff so that we can make new things, and we've got yeah. some pretty good new things. Yeah, thing, it's really no, cool. It's really don't, cool. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Anyway, with that, we're going to go Don't straight to the Dunduns because that's it for this week. Dun. Tom put the holiday on the wrong day. I can't even put the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Aroes. The champions have travelled to the thick jungles of Jakesh to find the breach point that will allow them access to Kalara's hidden demiplane, from which she has cut off most of her followers and turned her most loyal knights into a force of methodical killers. If Kalara is defeated or brought to peace, her divine essence will return to Siaska, the true deity of Aroes, and aid in the battles to come. A turbulent journey have led the party to Nightbloom Hold, the defended keep and monastery of Kalara's knights, and after a failed attempt to sneak in, they have launched a full-on assault against the forces here, including the powerful knight commanders of the Blackened Rose, during which Nova Vija teleported away to the colossal tree that seemed to be enhancing Kalara's forces and have has used a beacon of light to call down arcane blasts from their airship, the Storm Chaser. Now an intense battle wages beneath the burning, breaking boughs of this enormous tree. Nova flees the destruction with the Guardian's hotshot and shade, pursued by the newly reborn Cerise, the Plague Knight. Meanwhile, the rest of the party face off against the Orc War Knight, Lady Elwyn, and various minions, as well as Sir Godric the Death Knight and the Famine Knight, Lamalise, begin to close in. So, 
uh, I will do. We'll do a little brief recap uh, whilst I also have to fix this poor boy that I knocked over. Earlier. Quill fell. Quill fell. Problem with always using these flying stairs. But no everyone's one. here. All the knights are invited. Right. So to summarise things up, we got a bit of a ongoing battle map. A little bit of a slight rejig on the battle map. Uh, if you are watching, if you're wondering why the tower's suddenly a bit smaller and things have shifted around, just a bit of tidying up. We currently have uh, the War Knight, this Orc War Knight, Lady Elwyn, uh, who is currently engaging Lucius, Max, and Ayla in the actual round top of the tower. Uh, part of it has been knocked over, like part of the wall is now broken and has fallen down below it. Quill, you had moved just off to the side. Uh, I believe you were flying, but not too high up in the air. So yeah. you're about sort of like 10, 10 feet-ish up in the air. Uh, Sentry is a floor below you in the tower, currently fighting one of the Knight Errants, uh, one of these kind of powerful, full plate armored, black, uh, big great sword, black armored knights. Um, she is in the tower below you, so I haven't got her on the map yet. Coming from the main keep, which is the far end uh, away, so the sort of southern end of the battle map, um, you have two flying spectral horses, upon which Sir Godric Graves and the Ember Elf uh, Lamelees, uh, the, the Death Knight and the, and the Famine Knight, are approaching. Um, on, on the ground, a force of about seven skeletons and three whites um, seemingly move with Sir Godric and are following their horse, like keeping within range of Sir Godric. Far away, about 500 feet away, um, Nova Vija has basically helped the airship target the Great Tree, and you are now flying. You would cast the fly spell on yourself, and you'd moved about 60 feet um, towards the party, which would put you basically over the main temple, like the, the main sort of like fort, fortified temple. You are flying over its rooftops, basically. Um, and the last thing you'd seen was Cerise, the uh, Plague Knight, basically being birthed out of this sort of tree sap cocoon um and that was the last place we saw it we are deep in initiative uh, we are deep you still got it Get i've deep. got it all running Ooh. thanks to dnd beyond it's never been easier um they don't sponsor <laughs> us at the minute but i'm still gonna say it's yeah. never been easier um so i've just resumed the combat i've tweaked a couple of little things just to make sure everything's up to date and that is where we're gonna go are you First, guys all ready well katie i'm yeah, sorry do you wanna... <laughs> sorry about the hammer Katie, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's been like an ongoing thing in the Discord that everyone's like, okay, you're gonna kill How Tom. could I be so stupid? I am a fool, and I've never felt worse in my you life. You know, I wouldn't mind if you did it once, but you did it twice. <laughs> yeah. You threw a war that hero thing off, war hero. <laughs> It's also, you were also attacking recklessly, which that is like... That would Well, no, the reck... If anything, the Actually, reckless the reckless helped because it was an advantage, that's yeah, true. Yeah, but I just got so unlucky. You got very unlucky. Um, but yes. The dice. It's the dice. But we also have... Sentry's armor has been sundered. You're currently one AC yeah. down. Um, minus two to your attack and damage aware. rolls. You're you aware. punch me in the face um, whenever you want. Not now, not <laughs> later. later. All right. To kick things off, we can uh, add it to our TikTok playlist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tune into our TikTok to see me. Yeah. Uh, right. Whilst you guys make jokes, uh, Maximilian Taldros, uh, whose turn it is, is a bit anticlimactic to have an NPC go straight away. But Max is just going to make two great. Yeah, but it's Max. Max. Yeah. yeah what an NPC. Mm. Max to vage. Uh, he hits Max the War Knight. Uh, <laughs> that was the joke. Max hits the War Knight with his first attack, uh, which is going to do some damage. Uh oh! But the second one. So he does thirteen points. So half that down to six to the War Knight. Uh, his second attack, however, is clumsy. a clumsy strike. Sure. Watch as, uh, I think because Max isn't wielding a magical weapon, Max brings his greatsword down, the War Knight catches it between her palms and then just twists and the br it snaps the blade. And Whoa. it's just gonna destroy, because it's a mundane weapon, she's just gonna destroy it. Um, it's a mundane so, to him. Yeah, it's, yeah. well, Why and he, he just a mundane like, sword? He's doesn't knight. have a magic sword, doesn't have a magic weapon yet. Doesn't have a magic weapon. Just has normal knight, you know, but he's a armor. So this dude is the in Starbane's army. Right? Yeah, yes, he never had, okay, not never had magic weapons. <laughs> just Starbane never loved uh, him. Okay. Uh, and so you see Max kind of like holding this now sort of broken greatsword. Still usable, but it's going to definitely be not as effective in the future. Um, but that is Max's turn. The War Knight then goes next. Uh, and the War Knight is going to do a couple of things. Who's up next on the cards? So I will tell you, yeah, so there's a lot of NPCs because it's a very complicated uh, combat. We've got a bunch of enemies. The first of you guys who's going to go, in fact, I'll just tell you your order. Sentry's at the very top of the round. Then it will be Nova. Then Quill. Then Lucius. Then Ayla. How bad did you roll? No, your initiative was 15. Just everybody else rolled really, really well. Yeah. yeah. I have advantage on initiative, mm -hmm. right? 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Jesus. Uh, so the War Knight Elwyn, uh, having just briefly had this like vision yeah. as Lucius tried to like reach into her mind and free her of this control, now as you kind of felt your kind of presence ejected from it, Lucius, you see that any sort of control or humanity that was left in Elwyn is taken away from her and now just explodes. The fiery armor erupts with flame. Um, you see her skin darken as it begins to burn and crackle and she summons to her hand a giant mace uh, flaming with embers and she's gonna slam it into the ground and leave it there. And as it hits the ground, the entire tower, the walls within about 60 feet and the ground in the keep's grounds all begin to smolder and burn as giant cracks and fissures of intense steam and heat and flame erupt. Um, and the hammer is like almost like it's breaking into the stone, trying to force its way further into the ground as it leaves these giant cracks and, and rivets and crevices of flame and, and steam bursting from it. Uh, she uses the legendary action Victor Per Ignum. Uh, oh. And you see just this a massive 60-foot radius area around the tower, including the entire tower itself. Sentry, all the walls around you. <laughs> this intense heat builds up. Who's um, Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then they will make uh, three attacks as well. Um, focusing on <coughs> Lucius, she's going to... You've still got two mirror images up currently. I check this. You currently still have two mirror images. She's going to attack you twice, and then she is going to probably attack... Ba -ba 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 -bam. Uh, Quill, you're just flying nearby. She's actually going to throw a spear at you. <laughs> okay, so she yeah. summons like a blade, swipes twice at Lucius, and then summons a spear and throws it at Lucius. Nice. So uh, I need to see if I hit first, because if I miss, you don't need to worry about the roll. So the first attack against you, Lucius, is a 22. Do you want to roll for your mirror image? Eight or higher. 14. Destroys one of the mirror images. <laughs> Frustrated, she swipes through trying to remove these uh, irritating images. That's a natural one. So the next one she misses. Like these, now there's only two of the Lucius's left. We are kind of shifting between them as she's like trying to swipe through, desperately trying to figure out which is the real one. And then last thing, she just hurls like a javelin towards Quill. Um, and that is going to be a 17 to hit Quill. Uh, reactions are regained at the start of your turn, right? They are regained at the start of your turn. Uh, okay, I will shield that one. All right, okay, so it misses. Boing. Uh, boing, boing, boing. As a spectral shield is summoned. Uh, Sir Godric's turn. Oh, oh no. Uh, you see <laughs> the Death a Knight. Bit unwinnable in my just no, coming in with fresh eyes. Uh, no, I mean, every, yeah, it's, you've done a lot of damage. The War Knight, it looks heavily, heavily injured. Mm. Um, and you've there were a lot more here, Katie. There were minions, mm. there were other knights. A also, lot the, um, there's a wyvern that's dead yeah. no, on the ground. The there Famine Knight. No, uh, the Famine Knight is super far away at the moment. Nope. Famine Knight is no, no, sorry, so not the Famine, the, um, the Plague Pest Knight. Plague Knight, yeah. There's only Nova has to worry about them for yeah. now. Uh, it's not but our problem. I will say that there <laughs> is like there is one immediate problem. problem. So Godric lifts a hand, uh, and you can see he's almost distracted. Like he keeps turning to the destroying tree behind him, and he looks concerned. But then he looks back towards the tower. He raises his hand and seems to whisper something, um, and an effect takes place. Oh, um, not I need finger to... of death again. It's not Finger of Death again. I do just need to, because I didn't properly link the spells here. Oh, yeah, uh, Quill almost got Finger of Death last week. Did you get Finger? Um, I, yeah. You guys got can fingers. see this being cast if Lucius and Quill want to make Arcana checks to see what spell this is. Um, uh, yeah. You can try and identify it. <laughs> uh, I got a 12. 12? No. 20. 20. Lucius, this is a silent spell. Um, and... Uh, Godric lifts up, whispers a thing, um, and yeah, a 20-foot radius sphere is going to encompass the tower. Um, we can't cast spells. All right, okay. That's what you get out before the silence hits. Uh, so for the duration of this, yeah, uh, basically any creature or object entirely inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage and creatures are deafened. Uh, casting a spell that includes verbal components is impossible, so you need to check your spells and see which ones. Uh... So as Lucius is like, we can't cast spells, and, yeah. and then suddenly all sound is muffled. Um, the movements, the steam, the rage of the War Knight, all of it completely engulfed. Uh, Sentry. Uh -oh. This includes you, by the way, because it is a 20-foot sphere, so it encompasses like, the top floor below you. Uh, everything suddenly goes silent. Um, the Errant, at the start of his turn, will take 10 points of fire damage from all this steam and, and flame that's now being summoned around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, let's make a con save as well. 
seems to like, like is struggling, uh, but is still going to try and swipe at you uh, okay. on their turn. Uh, they are just going to make uh, three attacks with their great sword. The first one's going to miss, miss. Second one is going to hit with a twenty-six, mm -hmm. and then the last one is going to be miss. So they're going to hit you for uh, fifteen slashing damage, mm -hmm. and then uh, four points of necrotic damage. And can you make a Constitution saving throw, please? Fifteen. Fifteen. You succeed. You feel that channeling this necrotic energy through, they attempt to almost do like a similar to your divine smite, but this would have had some other effect. But Ooh. you manage to resist it. it. Tries to weaken your muscles, um, but you manage to avoid it uh, as they try and strike. Um, that is the end of the current round. What happens now is the tree behind Nova, having sustained heavy fire from the Storm Chaser, having been blasted and cracking, you've heard like the creaking of wood, the snapping of branches, begins to fully collapse and is now destroyed. Um, this has a number of effects. So for you, like Nova, this is all happening behind you. Like you're trying to outrun this, you know, destruction. And it's not like the whole thing is gonna collapse in on the keep itself, but like branches are snapping and breaking parts of the outer walls. You can see like like rivulets of like greenish, bluish magic are like running through it. Um, and it's just fading of power. Like that black pollen stops to fall down. Um, the grieving Erin that just tried to strike you, suddenly like you've been seeing like this black Icarus substance come from their eyes and ears and their nose. They strike you and then they lift their blade and then they just collapse down as if they've just dropped dead. They just collapse to the ground. Hell yeah. Um, nice. Any of the other minions that you'd seen, uh, none of those are still alive, but you can hear like the cries of undead from outside as well, as if like a great whip, ripple of force has just sort of collapsed all the undead around you. The Knight Commanders stagger for a moment as if like suddenly hit by a, a powerful wave of nausea or pain. They stagger for a moment. Um, they basically, you, they have a reduced AC now um, oh. for, while they're under this kind of effect. And they'll have disadvantage on any attack rolls they make for this turn because they are basically hit by this stunned sort of like, Gah! as if some great power has been sapped out of them. Is that fiery um, spear embedded in the ground, that's still going? It still remains, okay. yeah. So that is because it was activated, it still remains. Um, the mace is there. She, she left the mace there and it's just in the ground, like pumping okay. out heat and stuff. Nice. Uh, the undead well, that are underneath Sir Godric seem unaffected by this. Ah, uh, um, okay. And they are like, you can see it's not hard to tell, he is directly controlling them. So that's probably why. Uh, all right, cool. so that is at the top of the round. So we go to Sentry. Um, okay, well, while that knight's gone down, I'm gonna run back up to the top. Yeah, um, tight squeeze, but eh. Is Sentry large? No. No. No, we just check that. Right. And I'm gonna make two attacks against the, um, okay. the war knight. Yep, reduced AC currently. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. No. But anything under a 10 as oh, well. Oh, and at the start of your turn, Sentry, the only thing is just at the start of your turn, can you make a, you will take 10 points of fire damage, mm -hmm. and can you make a constitution saving throw for me, please? Okay. As these flames just continually emit uh, these. 16 plus seven, 21. You are fine. Uh, so you can feel this heat trying to sap your strength and your will, but mm -hmm. yeah, you take the 10 fire damage, but no other effect. Now, please make your turn. Okie dokie. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Wait. Three plus... Was it a three on the roll? Three on the roll. I'm afraid 16, to say total. it's going to be not just a miss, mm -hmm. but she grabs the tip of Starbreaker and, and squeezes and a crack. <laughs> oh, Starbreaker. Min minus one to the attack and damage roll. No. Starbroker. Broker. Mm -hmm. nice. Starbroker. <laughs> uh, that was your first attack. Yeah. Sentry's gonna be pissed. She's gonna try again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a seven on the roll. Seven is enough not to. Uh, no, actually, I think I changed it. No, it's uh, so again, same thing. Like, like has already grip. You try and force it down, and just pff, smashes into the side, and another deeper crack. Shit. Minus two. Did they both hit though? Still. Uh, seven plus your bonus. Thirteen. Twenty. That would not actually still technically hit. So, because okay. the reduced effect. Nice. Cool. So it does still hit on the second. Not that attack. going for you. Nice. Normally it wouldn't have. Let's do some divine smites. Let's get this. <laughs> Let's so get it going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like, and, and she is looking hurt. Like there is just rage and and 
destruction left. Four, five. Is she undead? Yes, technically they are undead. The D8 to the pile. While Ree's rolling, yeah. um, so Nova Hexblade cursed um, Elwyn before mm-hmm. she went away. Would that still be in place despite the distance? I can't find anything about distance or dissipating if I it's I think away it or... would be, yeah. I but I think you, I you to do your, like your, uh, it's only against you, isn't it? Like the reducing, like making the attacks miss and stuff, I think. The effect on like armor of hexes and stuff like that. I don't have any of that anymore. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you deal with Yeah, yeah. But um, the key thing that I'm looking is at is if points. she dies, I get hit points back. Yeah. Would I, I think, still get? Yeah, hit I think points? so. Yeah. yeah, don't see why not. Oh cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as long as it's still in effect. Not that I want to jinx this or anything. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, level three divine smite, forty-six damage. Forty-six. Can you tell me how much of that was from the lance? Because I need to reduce that. Forty-six minus seven, so. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Well, just, just from the lance, oh, sorry. Just from the lance, just, the so the 2d12s, yeah. 20. And your modifier. And so 20. So 20, so that would become, she should take 10 from that, So and then you did 40, how much? 46 total. So then it would be 26, 26. radiant. Yeah. Okay, so 36 damage total. So with that, although like she does manage to like smack into the side of the lance, you force it down into like her neck and the spiraling energy like breaks and shatters part of the armor now exposing like almost like her shoulder and like the top half of her arm and you can see just this like blackened burnt skin but there's still these like red veins almost emitting fire and steam from within her own body but now all the armor is like shattered and broken around her shoulder just like ah screaming as you do still standing though still standing oh god right. damn End of turn century. End of turn, thank you. All right, Nova Vija. So we kind of cut across to the rooftops of the great temple and we see a couple of these giant like pieces of the tree falling down. You know that Shade and Hotshot, they're just within range, but now you're over the rooftops, they're somewhere underneath you. You don't know, really know where they are. Mm-hmm. Um, but what do you want to do? Um, have I seen Cerise recently? You saw her just as you basically left the tree mm-hmm. and then flew out. Like, you're now probably not able to see her from where you are. Imagine that you've kind of got like a giant massive cathedral underneath you. So there's like a big tower and stuff, and that's probably going to block line of sight to her. I kind of want to um, reconnect with Hotshot and Shade. Um, yeah, you would just need to go back down to ground level to do yeah. that. Yeah. If I go down to, like, can I see Cerise? Like, yeah, if you want it, if that's what you want to do, but you'll need to make that decision and then deal with, like, if, if she can see you, that will just be where you are. So it's, it's like, do you go down and try and find Hotshot and, and Shade, which means basically flying off the roof down into, like, the grounds of the temple, and you'll probably have to go through the temple itself. Um, Cerise will then probably be able to see you if she's down there, or you can continue flying along the rooftops and and maybe you'll get cover or, or protection from where, where she is. Um, I want to go and connect with Hotshot and okay. Shade. You fly back down to where you saw them and you see the pair of them basically look like they're going through like a side entrance. If you've been to like a grand cathedral, you know that they sometimes have these little annexes and cloisters to the side. Mm. They're basically about to enter a doorway when they see you flying down. You also do see, uh, still emerging from this kind of like cocoon, dripping in in sack, her armor not quite fully formed. Um, One of her like legs very thin and and mutated, almost like it was still skeletal almost. Um, Not quite as if she's not been fully regrown. Um, A pair of vestigial insect-like wings buzzing at her back. Like she staggers out. You! And she's gonna, yeah, no, she's not gonna attack, but she has seen the group of you basically. So I'm gonna take up a defensive, like kind of hunker down in front of Hotshot and Shade, mm-hmm. bring up the shield, mm-hmm. and say, Cerise Fairwind. Is it Fairwind? Yep. yep. Cerise Fairwind, stand down. <sighs> I destroyed the tree. I will destroy you. Can't help it. It just does not seem to be. It's, there is a force at, at play here that is uh, not allowing them to have their own free will. Are they close enough for me to attack? Uh, not melee. They're melee. still at a decent range. They're probably like 60, 70 feet away. In which case... And they're case... drawing their bow. They're not going to be coming closer. They're just drawing a bead on you. Um, in which case, I will say to Hotshot and Shade... Yeah, yeah you can give commands to them. Um, I need healing, please. Uh, Shade, heal me. Hotshot, attack with me. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> Shade begins pulling out a single potion of regular healing. It's better than nothing. Um, yeah, okay, um, well, I'll make their attacks afterwards, but yeah, if you want to do... Um, gonna do. So it's going to have to be an Eldritch Blast, Roo, I think. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's what I can do at this range. Uh, first is a... Uh, 18 to hit. 18 is not enough. She actually dodges to the side. Uh, 22 to hit. Will hit. 15 points of damage. 15. Kind of catches her in the shoulder. 30 to hit. 30 hits. Uh, 10, 10. 10 points of force damage. <laughs> Staggers her back a second time. 29 to hit. 29 hits. Uh, 10 to hit, uh, 10, 10 points, damage. 10 points of damage. Kind of slamming into a form. You remember fighting Cerise before, she is still very tough as well. Um, even not fully formed. Injured, but still still capable of fighting. Um, and just like, is just drawing the bow like... <laughs> finish you off. Like, just is, you know, really straining and struggling, but still capable. Can I bonus action drink a potion of greater healing? You can, yeah. Do you want me to roll it? Yes, please. That's going to be... 44 plus 4. Yep, I got it. Uh, that is going to be 9, 13 points of healing. Plus, is that plus the That's 4? plus the 4, yep. 13, and then Shade basically clunk, pours another one in your mouth, which is a regular, uh, for ooh, 9 points of healing. Uh, that rolled quite high on that one. Um, and then Hotshot will <laughs> take a blast with her arm cannon, unfortunately missing. <laughs> uh, as it goes wide. Cool. End of turn, Nova. End of turn. The Plague Knight, Cerise Fairwind, who went, goes directly after you. Uh, so you've got them behind you, right? You said that you were going to stand in front of them. She pulls out, hooks a piece of long sinew to her arrow, and is going to fire a tethering shot. Mm. Oh. I need you and the two guardians to make dexterity saving throws. I'll make the. I'll make. I'll worry about the guardians. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Nine points. You are going to take full damage. They are going to take half damage. Um, they do manage to jump out of the way of the tether. The tether not basically connects you to the door behind you. And now you have like this long sinewy rope shot through your like you know chest or like through your like side of your body, digging into the stone. Um, I'm just going to take the average damage here because I don't have enough d8s. <laughs> How much HP do you have? Fifty-seven. Yeah. 54 points of poison damage. Oh. You had not had those potions. Damn. You would be down. Um, but yeah, this arrow, and you feel the poison kind of rupture through you. I also need you to make a... Nope, that's a different thing. <laughs> um, the two guardians are going to take half that damage, which is 25, 27. Yeah. They look nearly as badly as you. They have three hit points left each. Uh, uh, so wait, so you all like, have three? Yeah, every single one of them has three hit points left. Uh, okay. It's fine. That That's is, fine. Uh, and she fine. stays. She stays like sixty feet back, uh, and in fact, actually, will move to the side and like find a piece of the broken tree and is like ducking behind it as cover. Basically, we go to Quill hmm. on the other side of the battlefield. Yeah. So, um, uh, in terms of D and D, at the start of your turn, can you take ten fire damage and make a Constitution saving throw for me, please? <laughs> as this this mace, which is like you know trying to break like the ground is cracked around it almost like it's too heavy for the tower's stone is emitting this like incredible flaming um, presence oh okay, boy I got, uh, 13 on con the con save. save yeah you gain a level of exhaustion as the intense heat is sapping away oh your strength God. okay uh, let's just remind myself of what level one exhaustion uh, is. it's disadvantage on ability checks so uh, things terrible. like attack rolls and saving throws are okay for now okay um the uh, radius on this heat, did you say it was 30? 60. 60. It's massive, yeah. So that's why you're still like, even though you're like 10 feet off the ground, you're still in like yeah, the yeah, area yeah. of its effect because it's like emanating this heat around. Is it radiating from the weapon itself? From the weapon itself, yes. Um, and in terms of D&D rules... And it is a physical weapon. Yeah. Like, it is like stuck in there. If I, can I, A, can I hold a bonus action? Uh, yes, I would say you can. Does it yes. cost an action to hold a bonus action? I think I would. Uh, that's how I would rule it. Yes. So you okay. would use your action to hold an action, which then but also uses you can... my reaction. Yes. To, okay. Um, I want to. While I'm near Ayla, I mm-hmm. want to mime a throwing action. I'm doing this, <laughs> and then pointing at the flying knight, uh, and then I want to fly uh, forty-five feet along the battlements 
Uh, to, so yeah, to you're get about out of this 10 silence. feet away. If you go 45, that'd put you 55 feet away I, from I the hammer. I think I've only got 45 feet of flying speed, so. You are just on the cusp. Yeah, edge. but it's the best I can do. And also, but wanna... also, if you want to fly diagonally up, like, I would say that if you get up, the, it, the the cooling air would actually lessen it. I want to stay behind the wall. <laughs> that guy tried to finger me last time. Right, so you're gonna, <laughs> actually, you're gonna duck down behind no, no, the wall. Um, so oh, like in like the, the wall that we're currently on. You're gonna I'm use gonna... that as cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so right. I wanna yeah, yeah, just you're, fly. You're still in the radius of the heat, unfortunately. Um, and I will hold a... Are you not all quiet times right now? I'm miming to you. Yeah, but can you cast that if you're uh, silent? It's about uh, once you get to once you get twenty feet away from the tower, you can hear again. Like the you, yeah. you, the sound comes oh. back. But also the spell. It's a bonus action to to finish the thing. And I don't think that's a verbal thing. Every one of my spells is. You verbal. can now cast spells. Then. Oh yeah, right, yeah, okay. Chamber. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, my plan is to hold the holy weapon burst triggering effect uh, for when Ayla throws it. Okay. And I hope. If I had an action, I would send a message to the Storm Chaser. I'm hoping the blast of light from the Holy Weapon explosion on top of that guy also has the Storm Chaser fire at them too. Okay. It's like a flash, isn't it, of light? It's it not a, like it doesn't create light. It's a it, burst it, of light. The Holy Weapon creates light, but the burst is like a flashbang. Almost. Yeah, but it's also yeah, we'll burst see. We'll of see what happens. blinding light. Okay. But it's also sure. like an instantaneous All right. pop. All right. In that case, end of turn. End of turn. Lucius. Um, Lucius. Okay, ten points of fire damage and a con save to begin with. Can I absorb elements? Uh, uh, that would be your reaction to do. Yes. Yeah. But that would be your the reaction you gain from this turn. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So All right. So absorb half elements, damage. half damage. You take five fire damage. Um, and, and because you gain resistance to fire, you don't need to make a con save. Um, you can avoid the effects of the extreme temperature because you have resistance to fire. Uh, you see the captain's command sword in view with fire. Because cool. absorb elements does yeah. that. Um, oh. Now, benevolent DM. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, here we go. Middle name Humes. Yep. My Stormcaller's chain mm -hmm. has call lightning on it. Mm -hmm. Would it require me to do the verbal? Does the spell have a verbal component? Yeah. Yes, it does. But it's like in the chain. It is, but it's like you being like. Stormcaller chain! <laughs> chain, use... Chain, use lightning! <laughs> it's like, I summon Stormcaller chain in attack mode! It's, yeah, you still have to activate the command words. All right, in which case, is... I'm going to swing my sword at Elwyn. Okay, Classic. please do. Uh, you get a nine or lower. Captain's command is magical, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. 20. 20 to, 20 to hit? Mm. And that actually will hit because her AC is lower. Or? No. Is it a natural twenty? No, oh, no, it's plus just a ten. Base. Yeah, okay. so with her lowered AC from the effect of like the tree being broken and destroyed, that will actually hit. Uh, one d eight plus four plus this fire damage. Don't have to get the fire damage. <laughs> it looks cool though. It looks uh, cool. Seven points. Seven points of damage. Uh, it is magical slashing. It does still get half, unfortunately. So that goes down to three. <laughs> It's the look. It, like the thing is, is it's her armor and her black and like even with a magical weapon, it's hard to cut through her like extremely tough form. Um, so the captain's command does graze it, but so with yeah. your charisma, it, it looks like it does so much damage. Yeah, so it's powerful, very so strong, yeah. fluid. I'm like water. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. All right, end of turn. End of turn. Okay. Uh, the undead beneath Godric uh, just look up as if waiting for uh, uh, what they're going to do. Ayla. Hi. Hello. Okay. I'm noticing that Quill did that. Can you take 10 points of fire damage and a concept, oh. please? <laughs> Gotta remember this at the start of the turns. Uh, 18 plus my con, which is like. Yep, you're 11. fine on the. You don't take any exhaustion, but 10 fire damage. Yes. Um, so. I will do what Quill said, even though I had another idea, because he really wants me to throw the hammer. Sure. So I'm going to throw it at the knight that he told me to throw at. Yeah, there's two There's two options. Godric is Godric? the closer. Yeah, Godric. Godric is within 60 feet. Godric gets hammered to face. Okay, making the attack roll. Uh, because you've got a holy weapon as well, currently, um, it will do an extra 2d8 of damage. 23 to hit. 23 would hit. Does he have anything which will allow him to boost? I don't think he has shield or anything. Nope, yep, that hits. And that is with the minus two yep. already. Yep, um, yep. So, okay. One hit kill. So I get uh, 
<laughs> I'm just going to shake my head, just so you have don't have false expectations. One hit. Awesome dies. <laughs> Breaks his neck. 18 with the hammer. That's already minus two. That's fine. Then uh, four lightning damage. Does he have any resistance to lightning? That's just from the hammer. He does have resistance Oh, wait, to hang on. No, it would be different. It would be four, uh, 10, 14. 15. 16 lightning damage okay. because of the... The lightning throwing. does get resisted, so it's half damage, That's so fine. 8. And then it will be 8 radiant damage. 8 points of radiant of damage, that. that does not, and there's no resistance against that. Um, whoosh, the hammer like slams into like Godric's chest. <laughs> he kind of Technically, grunts if I threw that through in a line to him... That's 60 feet. It wouldn't hit Lana Leaves. No, it would it hit her. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, on the way past. Yeah, 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 she oh, gets yeah. 16 lightning damage then. Yep, okay. Uh, it's just uh, the lightning damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Does she have prison one? She does not. 16 points of lightning damage. Nice. So, ah! Silence is concentration, right? Uh, silence it wasn't... is concentration. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm not worried about that. I am. But does he lose it? Uh, he could legendary resist it. Could do. But. Could yeah, sure. Uh, so the total damage would have been eight. You did 15 normal damage. 18 with the hammer. 18 plus normal damage. Uh, 16 lightning plus eight, eight lightning. radiant. 18, 26, 32, mm. 34. E yeah. Yeah, 34. Half 34 is 17. Mm. Exactly what I rolled. Um, so the silence remains. All okay, right. fair enough. <laughs> Just grunts as it um, kind of slams into his chest. Uh, so I have a bonus action. Okay. Well, first things first, a held action goes off. Yep, as the hammer oh. comes to a stop before it starts to make its way back. Um, oh. Bonus action. I want to explode in holy radiance the hammer. Okay. Uh, Just blow it up. Oh. <laughs> I want to blow Sorry, up. I will murder you! No. Blow up that hammer for good. And it will do 4d8 of radiant damage, and every or each creature of choice within a 30 feet range must make a constitution save. Okay. Um, Won't hit the undead on the ground because these guys are flying higher up than that. Cool. Um, but yeah. That's fine. So, well, both the knights then. Okay. Right. Uh, that will do what's it, 15 radiant damage to. 15 radiant both damage the to both the knights. Um, uh, and what's the DC on the saving throw? Uh, it's, I guess it's my spell save. DC. It is, yeah. 21, right? 22. 22. 22. Uh, and it's what, it's blinded? Blinded. All right. Uh, one minute. The, the famine knight is blinded. You see, like, mm. ah, like, holds oh. his hands up, ah, like, hold, clutching over his eyes. Godric just stares into it. Just doesn't seem to be affected. <laughs> so he oh. saved. He did. He takes half damage then. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Um, and yeah, a blinded creature constitutes and save to end blind. To end. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping that is light enough for the Storm Chaser as well. That wasn't casting a spell either of you, was it? Neither of you cast a spell. No. I used a bonus action to essentially Actually, no, end no, no, yeah, my no, spell. No, 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 it's fine. No, I know magic. It's a different thing. <laughs> no, it's a different thing. Um, um, right. And I still have a bonus action. Yep. Would it be counted as a bonus action for me to pick, pull that weapon out the of the ground up. and I will, oh. yeet it away from us? I will tell you. Uh, um, my creature wishes to remove the weapon. Uh, it would be an action to pull the weapon. Oh fuck! But uh, you, I will say that as you think about it, you think once you remove the weapon from the ground, this area will go away. I want to eat the hammer. Yeah, it will be an action though. Okay. All right. What? Well, <laughs> That's fine. Right. You just did a ton of damage to those. Okay. End of turn. Uh, in which case, bonus action or a. Lightning damage instead, too. Uh, yes, yeah, Thanks absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's a natural 20 on the saving throw, so she's definitely mm. going to succeed. 15 lightning. So half to two, seven. Nice. Mm. And then end of turn. What a turn. I've got so many things to scroll through, I'm actually losing where they are. That was a, that was a bad <laughs> blast of lightning, you see Elwyn like fall to one knee, because she is a large creature. Like She falls to one knee, like clutching the chest. If this was anybody else, they would be dead. But just... <laughs> like, 
like gets up and is just raging at this point. Are they blinded too, or is it just? Uh, blinded? No, it's just yeah, those guys. Yeah, yeah, the explosion happened way over here. Um, right, and was did, that? Did that the storm chaser do anything? Uh, so we'll get to that uh, in a minute. Can you just roll a d hundred for me, though, please, Tom? A d hundred. Yeah. It's I not that many sides. <laughs> <laughs> If not, I can roll it for you if you don't have it. Yeah. I just, I was uh, that's cool, I got it. Bam. A hundred. A hundred? Is it a dead a hundred? It's dead a hundred. Dead a hundred. <laughs> okay, good, good to know. Two, I've never two, seen that roll before. <laughs> yeah, good, good to know. Or is it zero? Quick, make a wish. Uh, don't. I can't. <laughs> I don't know, it's gone. I wish I was. I wish I rolled a hundred. I did! <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck in a loop. Uh, it's because of the wish that I rolled a hundred. But I needed okay. to roll a hundred right. to get the wish. Your nose okay. is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> the famine knight, uh, kind of like, God, I can't see, and just sort of like mumbling. You can hear uh, those outside the silence can hear this. Uh, I just need to check one thing. Oh, I need to see if this, if a certain spell needs line of sight. Oh no, line of smell. Oh no, they know where I am. <laughs> Imagine if that was a thing. <laughs> I'd be ruined. <laughs> well, they would They would know where you are. Yeah. They saw you before you cast the spell. Um, <laughs> and in fact, that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, uh, they are gonna use. They're going to use. Uh, they are going to use their summon the swarm ability to cast insect plague, which is oh, oh, I love that spell. Around yeah. you, Quill. Oh, just oh, oh, insects oh. biting mosquitoes Lunchtime. and fleas. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when the area appears, a creature and it must make a constitution saving throw. Can you make a con save? Oh, please, good. Will? Favorite. Uh, this is not their action, by the way, casting the spell. This is uh, an ability they have at the start of their so turn. So cool. Nine. Nine. Uh, that is going to be uh, 4d10 piercing damage. Holy shit. What? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Bugs? There's a lot of bugs. bugs. There's a lot of them. It's like. You ever been bit my mosquito? Yeah. Really only, 13, only 13 points of piercing oh, damage. Oh, I rolled that's pretty bad. Bug champ. Yeah. Um, but the sphere, the, <laughs> the area will remain. It's a 20 foot radius sphere around you. Buggers. Um, yeah. That was their <laughs> beginning of the turn. That was their summon ability. Can't get through the uh, No. Oh, I'm so thick. I don't want to use anything while Elwyn is there. Killer. Killer. Yeah, killer. Could yeah. do. No, don't, because it's probably worse. For us, uh, I need it. Somehow, it will be worse. Uh, do I need will be. line of sight for this spell? Yes. We'll get there. Uh, do I need line Just of sight? Get to my body. <laughs> <laughs> right. In that case, they are just gonna they are gonna hold their action. In fact, oh. um, that's it. Oh, that's until they can She's see. Scheming. Until they can see. Uh, Max, Emilia, and Taldros uh, doesn't take any fire damage and doesn't care about the intense heat. Oh, yeah, uh, of just, Your it's flames like... mean nothing. Yep. They are nothing compared to the flames of Gideon. Wow. Uh, wow. That's, That's me right. when you guys complain about the heat. <laughs> you see Max just like, call yourself a knight. You've fallen too far. And like comes in with a big swing. Yes. Um, with the broken in fact, he's going to use his bonus action to cast Blinding Smite on his weapon. And then, oh, he can't. Silence. And his weapon. Uh, oh, that's true. He can still cast it. It's broken. Okay, so he is but using a broken weapon. He, right. he says something. None of you hear what he says. It's just... Does it look cool, though? Looks pretty cool, but yeah. nobody hears anything because he's in silence. And he doesn't <laughs> I cast lip read it. You lip, you lip read it, and yes. that's why. Oh, wow. You know exactly what Max said. I'm going to tell everyone what It he was said. just like... Through the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Staring at him. His first attack is going to miss. Doesn't. It's not clumsy, but it does miss because uh, of the uh, broken weapon effect. The second one, even with the broken greatsword, 19... Um, plus uh, plus four is 23 is still going to be enough. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have it do half damage, basically. Um, Champion of the bloke, broken, broken blade. Seven, Max. Broken blade. Five, blade. Five, blade. five points of damage, which is already halved, which is how many hit points? No, you I don't think yes! Yes! I hate oh, to kill Maxie. steal. But no, do it! Plunges Max. the broken. Oh, I like, exit. He plunges the broken greatsword into her chest, yes. shattering like the bro broken bit of the armor as she like staggers back, nearly falling off. But you've seen this. She is orcish, and there is a step moment where she's just like. Yes. She goes to one hit point. Oh. Oh. Just that's what I'm on like, the nose. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's basically yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it's like the about to die. No, I'm too I'm angry. too angry to die. Exactly. Um, that's me in real life. And yeah. that was Max's turn. On her turn, she's gonna go. 
<laughs> and I think she's gonna basically, yeah, try and take the vengeance out on Maximilian. No! Oh. I want to protect my boy. Uh, you are up there. You are. There is an Ayla between you. What's the range in your? It's five, five feet. feet. No, unfortunately, can't protect too too close. But yeah, no she's going to make three slashing attacks against uh, Max. Uh, it's going to be a first one is going to be a miss. The second one is going to be a hit, and the third one is going to be a hit. Uh, so. Come Max, you can tank this. Let's go. Uh, that's going to be a pretty roll damage. Uh, so that's going to be ten. Uh, immune to fire, so he takes the 16 from that first one. His armor then gets, you see his armor, it's non magical armor. She rips like the chest piece, just breaks and snaps, oh. completely exposing oh, yeah? Max's chest. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Enjoy that. <laughs> you. <laughs> Me. Me. And that was it, because the first one missed. So yeah, just <laughs> and then this slashing, this kind of like uh, ragged edge sword, like bites into the arm and just rips it oh. off Max in these tearing chunks. Ah, as he's screaming as the armor is pulled off of him. Oh no! <laughs> my heaving chest covered in oil. <laughs> you want to say my heaving bosom? Right. Okay. Um, after the war night's turn, uh, <laughs> so Godric will hold his head for a moment. He will. He points at Lama Leaves. Uh, in fact, he will reach over and as a bonus action, he touches Lama Leaves and ends the blinded condition. Uh, oh. At which point, uh, Lama Leaves will uh, the famine knight will use their held action. Uh, which is going to target, uh, who's the first person they can see? Lucius is the main one that they can see, as a withering ray is fired. Uh, 23 to hit you, Lucius. Yeah. So this is going to be... Is it really in the silence? Resistance. They just no. ended, no. Uh, Out there. Uh, six, seven, seven, seven points of cold damage. Your resistance, aren't you? Do you resistance? And your strength is reduced by one. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, if it gets to zero, yeah. it is oh no. What happens uh, if you're already at minus two strength? You and it keeps down? going down. Like that's the, the so your yeah. seven would become a six, yeah. and it would that would become a minus three, and then it would. What happens if they go? He goes to zero though. Uh, if any of you go to zero, you die. But I'm already what, at really? zero. Not zero no. strength. Oh, just no. Zero. So like you're a seven modifier. Down to zero. Yeah. Okay. You mean yeah. the actual score? Yeah. yeah the if actual if score. the score goes to zero, gotcha. you are dead, and also you can't be resurrected until. That gets fixed. Like that's like dead, dead. That's not like death saving throws. Dead. They that's can't dead, make dead. you go to the gym if you're dead. <laughs> uh, so that was bonus action. Remove the blinded condition. Godric will then turn. You hear Godric say, "Do we? Uh, we're in the fight." Quill does. The rest of you don't. Quill's the only one who hears this. I'll communicate it later. <clears throat> I'll release. Yeah. Adelwin, press the attack. I must return to the temple to revive the rot heart. And Godric and his undead minions head back to the temple. No. Oh, but before he goes, he will look over towards Elwyn. Your fight's not finished. And he will clutch black flames as he basically heals Elwyn uh, with his last Oh, action. Phase two, baby. How, how heal was this? Was it, it wasn't healed. Pretty healed? Was it? Yeah. Oh, so maybe it's face, So yeah. it's at least 70 <laughs> healing. Oh, is it 70? I'll take Well, 10. at the lowest level. No, no, no. It's, it, it's effectively a heal spell. It's like a, it's an undead variant of heal spell. Uh, but yeah, he just, this black flame sort of surges into her, uh, and then he will. <laughs> Bye. He's Look on that. To revive the rot heart as well. Yeah. Mom, Mom yes, is, you didn't hear Mom that, though. Mom's giving orders. Lucius is distracted by Max's chest anyway. Wait, how long does the silence last if he's not around to... So, that's what oh, I'm going to yeah. check in a minute. I just need to get the rest of these minions. Mignons. 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 Right. Or you could move. It is a 20 foot radius. Yeah, what? You, could you can move. Oh, um, that's tiny little <laughs> This guy is dead. Who wants to do that? However, there is some good news. At the end of the round, the storm chaser gets to fire again. 
Oh, but he left. Okay. He did leave, I mean, but the position that he was at. So yeah. as Godric, just as he gets out of range, the storm oh. chases cannons, <laughs> and because of that hundred, I'm not going to roll. They hit exactly on point, which is going to include Lamely's. Hell yeah! Um, so I'm going to basically give Lamely's a deck saving throw That's here. Right. That's all right. It's, eight. it's not going to be enough. This is going to be a lot of damage. Can you roll uh, 3d10 and then times it by three? Uh, 3d10. I'll, yep. I'll just do it. I'll have Tom do it because he rolled the d10. Do it on dunder, dun dunder. What have I rolled? One. No, I rolled. You rolled a I lot of things that. that were not a d10. <laughs> uh, five plus four. Nine. Plus three, 12. 12 times three, 36. 36. 36 points of damage as this blast from one of the Storm Chasers cannons. <laughs> Uh, incinerates the ground around it and catches lamb leaves into it. And you can see that the, they're kind of staggered uh, by this immense blast as it falls down on them. Does their mount take damage, or is that a separate mm, thing? It would do, actually. I mean, it is technically yeah. a separate creature. It probably would have had um, the... Um, <laughs> that will succeed, so it will take harm. Yeah, it would have taken the damage from the other ones. As well. And from the other ones. I would say that's probably going to be, even with the saving throw, that's probably enough to kill it. However, lamb doesn't fall. He just remains oh. floating in the air. What's the point of the horse, then? Because it's, it's cool. It looks cool. <laughs> Exactly. Oh. I, I'd, I'd ride, ride a flaming skeletal steed if I could fly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can fly. It, it also just seems to be an innate thing. You don't know if it might be a magic item or something like that, but it's just I want hovering that. in place. I take um, it back. That's cool as hell. All right. Uh, brand new round. We go to the top century. Um, uh, start of your turn. Can you please take 10 oh, points yeah. of fire damage and make another con save for me, please? Yar. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 maybe I should heal. I, I can see Sentry's hit points. Yeah, maybe I should heal. Maybe. 21. 21 points. Uh, oh, sorry, 21 on con, on con save. Yeah, you don't take any exhaustion, but you did take the 10 fire damage, but no levels of exhaustion. What would you like to do? Then Nova, you're up next. <laughs> smart me wants to heal. Unsmart me says no heal smack time. I like both of those plans. Yeah. I should probably be smart, though. <laughs> Yeah, it hasn't worked out for me. <laughs> uh, I should try it. Round, you should try are you on three it. HP still, Labour? Yeah. Nice. Mm. I'm tethered. Yeah. I could. Far away I, from everyone. I could, I could go. Godric's coming could. towards me. Mate, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. I could go mm. one more round, probably. <laughs> I could go one more round. Centrate! <laughs> hey, I love it. Go for it. <laughs> do what you're going to do, dude. I believe in you. I want to buy us a little bit of time, so I want to. Enlarge and then Spartan kick. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yep. Yeah. I mean, when I, when she was on one hit point, I was I was gonna kick her off yeah. there. I so. mean, there. I will say this. <laughs> like there is not enough. Actually, no, because the tower is a bit big than the representation here. Yeah, you can enlarge. Yeah. Enlarge like yeah. spot yeah. kick. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can try. Yeah, this, <laughs> everyone. So this would be. <laughs> this is we all die. Shove. You're all crushed. Uh, I get advantage on strength if I'm enlarged. You do so. There is. There's, there's rules for shoving. This is the second yeah. time she's fallen off this tower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's you're just you're just BMing. Don't stand at this on point. the edge of the tower. <laughs> this is just BM. <laughs> Um, so... It's sort of like two points. Showing creature. So you can use the attack action, so well. one of your attacks oh, yeah. becomes a special type of attack. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Target must be no more than one size larger than you. They're the same size as you now. Instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength athletics check contested by their strength athletics check. Uh, you both have advantage on these, so... Oh, yeah. Let's you, go. Yep, you you get advantage, Let's I get advantage. Go. I need to roll one. Oh. Oh. Did you... Not 20. Now 20. Oh. Oh. What's the modifier? What's your strength bonus? <gasps> oh, no. oh, oh, oh. The rose is going to be big. Just, just plus strength, just normal strength. Just strength modifier, yeah. Uh, plus four. Plus four. Uh, okay. All right. I think I've got something that I think you'll go with. All right? Because we both tied. Do we throw each other up? But you want... That's what I was going to have. Yeah. <laughs> you, the force is enough, but Elwyn grabs your leg and pulls you with Hell her yeah. as you and Elwyn both... Oh, shit. Yes. Uh, this tower, I think I said, was like 20 feet tall. Oh, my dad. So, uh, oh. I don't know, is six points of damage going to get on you? No, no. no, I don't think so. Uh, uh, but the two of you go flying down. I'm going to land on that beach. 
<laughs> Just that Elbow bitch, drop. not Let's this go. bitch. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you both fly down. I'll you still have an rope. attack left. You're prone. Oh, but, hell yeah. So you have disadvantage. But actually, you haven't moved. So you no. can get back up and you can make an attack if you want. Oh, and oh, would yeah. you have advantage because yeah, she's prone? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So you can, can attack with advantage. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's go. So Has like, she still got reduced AC as well from yeah. uh, the Blast? Da, 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 da. It's been the end of a round. Yeah, no, no, that lasts. Yeah, 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 that lasts. 19. With the reduced AC, that will just hit. Yep, just Oof. hits. Rock and roll. Okay. I almost imagine that you could be doing this attack in midair as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Like, yeah. Right, let's see how many. Right, as she's so grabbed your leg, you're just plunging Starbreaker down. I did not That'd be the plan second for this way that she's killed at night. Yeah. Is that she killed the cool? first one in the same way. <laughs> I just yeah. I love dog pile on If she kills them. <laughs> if, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do another level three. One, two, seven, three, 64. Kick ten. Six. Five, six. Yeah, no, I added 80 and then I took 10 off. Because I thought it was. Seven. Yeah, seven. Get these out. Oh. We don't count. Right. She's rolled And again, oh uh, if you can give me the the, the 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 normal damage first, okay. so not the radiant damage. So Starbreaker damage is 13. With the mo with modifiers? With modifier plus 20. 20, okay, oh, 20 so. 20 last time. Yeah. 10 from Starbreaker and then the radiant damage separate. Radiant damage is 10. 15, 28, 31 radiant damage, plus a d4 because I'm big boy now. You are big. That <laughs> also halved. So, so that's a three. So I got half to one, unfortunately. So that so was a lot. 31 plus, was that 31? Mm -hmm. it, I've done it. It's fine. We don't. It's something like about spin. fifty something. Yeah, because it would. Well, twenty if you take away the yeah. half. Yeah. Because it would. It was half normal damage. It was about fifty something damage. But okay. Um, but yeah, you fall, <laughs> slamming, the, and you again. You like, oh, it's like, ah, just as this like Starbreaker, this kind of jagged, now semi broken tip is like in, embedded in her, like all these desperate wounds as there's just this flaming rage in her eyes. Um, but yeah, you're now standing on top over her on the ground. Can I just uh, say to her, it doesn't have to end this way. Ah, 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 just there's just no inc there's no coherency left. Right. Like after the attempt by Lucius, like any personality has not been allowed to exist. Uh, twenty feet down at the very bottom, it's not. Oh. So actually, this conversation takes place because mm. uh, it was twenty feet from so the tower. So we hear the slam, or we don't hear the no, slam. We don't. No, we you don't. You don't hear anything. the slam. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I am and the slam. And this conversation, <laughs> I am the I slam. Am the slam. <laughs> <laughs> I am the slam. Damn straight, you are. But from like complete silence to boom. <laughs> <laughs> It it's so be loud! Like, be like, as you were falling in silence, yeah. and then as you impacted the ground, that's the first sound oh, you hear. Cool. All right. Pretty cool. End of turn? End of turn. Nova Vija. How far away is Cerise from me? 60, I think, yeah, 60 feet okay. behind cover. Um, while everything else was happening, I rolled a con check on my fly. Okay. I rolled a 17, which against a 54, I believe, is not enough. I mean, like 24, 25 DC, so your fly is unfortunately gone. I will, tethered. will turn to Hotshot and Shade and tell them to run. Um, and... Make a persuasion check. Funny, I'm busy here. I've got loads of stuff going on. You do. <laughs> 17. 17. Okay. Hotshot says, not this time. You don't... And she looks at you like, none of us are going to win this fight if any of us stay. You stop me doing one thing once, I can stop this now. And she gets her arm cannon and exposes her matrix and is like, I the way I was gonna destroy the tree, I can stop her. Just need time. I can't. No. Like, in the in the last in the last few seconds, she's just like, all my force died because of me. Let me make this right. <laughs> And you see that instead of channeling it into her arm cannon, all that excess energy, she's focusing into her matrix. And it's beginning to like... I was gonna go and engage Cerise up close, but I can't now. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we're none of us making it out of here. Like, you can like, as you're like down, we can imagine that like, this is like, Cerise is like firing arrows, like from cover and stuff. I can save you. No, you can't. Shade, get her out of here. Shade's gonna try and cut the rope. Natural 20. Oh! Splits the tether, but it's your turn. I was gonna teleport. You can, if you can, yeah. Can you teleport all of them though? No! And there you go. Yeah, no, I was gonna use Tiangong to, to get me out the tether and get me to her and smack her up with all my stuff. You still can. Stuff. 
Do you think you can take her out in one turn? Mm. Thing is, I have action surge. If you think you can take her, like you, like at this point, Hotshot is planning to do this. But if you stop Cerise now, then Hotshot won't have to. How bad does she look? Who? Uh, Cerise. Cerise, make a make a perception check for me. Ten. It's hard to tell. She's in cover. She was half formed. You're not sure how much of like the injuries. She was tough when you fought her before. Like you would have to. Like you suspect you would probably have to hit every single attract, like every single strike with Tiangong would have to hit. I have but one indomitable. Possible. I have an action surge, I have an indomitable, and I have an unleash incarnate. Indomitable won't help because that's saving throws. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, unleash incarnate. Yeah. I mean, if you want to try it, now's the time. But this could be. I do have three HP though. You have three <laughs> HP, as do the two, two guardians with you. Okay. They both look beaten up. What do you want to do? Till all are one, and then I'm gonna grab shade. So there's this cloister, like you can get into the temple itself. Um, that's the only way you can go. This is like an enclosed, like courtyard, basically at the back. But yeah, if you grab shade, like shade's like grabs you and like you both like in. The last thing you see is you just see hot shot, just like ksh, slam the matrix, a slight crack appears, and then she just runs, and you hear till all are one. Yeah. And there is this incredibly large explosion of light that throws the door behind you. You and Shade, like, throw yourselves to the side as it's blown against it. You hear the cracking, breaking of trees uh, as just, yeah, this incredibly large arcane explosion. Not enough, like, basically it would have done what you did with the light. Not enough to destroy the tree itself, but it would have made it in bright enough of an explosion that then the Storm Chaser could have attacked it, basically. Um, but yeah, and uh, yeah, used her overcharged arcane cannon and, and matrix. Uh, do you want to make an arcana check for me? 20. You think that because she used her matrix, that's it. Hotshot's gone forever. There's no like bringing her back into the matrix. She destroyed her matrix to enable that sort of destructive power. So having, <laughs> having the knowledge you have of the Prime Matrix and like your knowledge of magic, you're like that wasn't like a, oh she can just go back into the Matrix. That was a hot shot's gone. Oh. Right. End of turn. You basically just use your turn to just Running run and through. Running and hiding. And... Yeah. So you and Shade basically get through. Uh, you make your way to a side clo cloister. You basically have like a monk's abbot cloister, like a kind of open aired uh, courtyard. There is an exit on the opposite side to you that seems to be like a pair of double doors that lead somewhere. And then there is a larger pair of double doors on the side of the cloister. Which way do you want to go? Um, based on your graphical knowledge, the side, of, uh, you know, the sort of like navigational knowledge, that side door leads into the main keep building, the main temple. That one opposite you, you think will lead out into the courtyard plaza. You won't, you'll basically get to either door at the end of this turn. Yeah. Kind of thinking, do I want to go deal with some Celestials? Mm. Or shall we keep... No, she, she, she killed herself to keep us safe, so the safest thing that I think is to go to the courtyard. Okay, so you basically skirt around the outside of the courtyard. Um, yeah. Can I just quickly ask Shade, like, can you go invisible? I can try, I can hide. I don't go invisible, but I can hide. I can sneak well. In which case, I'll cast invisibility on both of us. Okay. All right, sure. Yeah, and, uh, okay. Um, all right. Well, I will just cool. reduce the Plague Knight to zero hit points. Um, yeah. Quill. Um, I, uh, so the silence is still in effect. Um, it is. Is there, I suppose there isn't any visual representation of silence. It's just... It's just a, you, like there's no like you're, the guys are like shouting and screaming and stuff, but you're not hearing any sound come from that tower. Um, so is it possible for me to fly to a point where I can? I'm like on the edge of hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Not on the edge of hearing. Like that in that bubble, no sound can be created. Yeah. Um, but you can get to 20 I feet see. away at uh, the edge of it. So you could be, still lip read. So you can move to yeah. like here. And you're kind of like flying slightly above. You can sort cool. of like. Peer so I'm in. pretty much within uh, twenty-ish feet, feet of everybody. I want to do a. Uh, oh God, I am low on spells. I want to do a uh, mass cure wounds. Um, 
unfortunately, is at level eight. What range? It's oh, it's sixty feet, Masculine wounds. Okay, so you um, can hit sentry. I can hit sentry. Amazing. Oh. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six d eight of healing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, plus six, I think. Uh, Thirty-nine healing. Oh boy! Thank you. To yeah, everyone. I think everyone, including Max, I think. Except Nova. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, three hit points. Uh, love it. All right, she's fine, I'm sure. End of turn. I got no idea. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Oh, did you take ten fire damage at the start of your turn? Oh, I'm still oh, in the range of that. Yeah. yeah. You, you moved into the range of it. <laughs> you were oh, okay. it. Yeah, sixty feet. Uh, and then con save, please. Con save. Son of a eight, another level of, level of exhaustion. Yeah, which I believe is movement speed, but check it. Um, but yeah, two levels of exhaustion and yeah, ten fire damage. Uh, then we go to Lucius, if that's the end of your turn. Crap. And it'll be Ayla, you next off. I am itching. <laughs> the yeah, tower we're on. Fine. Ten points of fire damage, constitution safe. Let's do that before we get, I forget. I'm gonna reaction that one again. Okay. Absorb elements. All right, then you don't need to make con save. Fire resistance nullifies the extreme <coughs> heat. Five. Yep, five fire damage, yep. Um, the tower we're on yes. is taller than the walls either side. Just ever so slightly, yeah, but not much. Okay, in which case I'm gonna hop off and go towards Quill, but underneath him, mm -hmm. so that I, 10, 15. noticing that he's going out and casting spells. Yep, so you get to where you are about 25 feet out, and then you suddenly, oh, you can hear the sounds of like sentry and, and the, the war knight, you can hear the sounds of spells and the explosion. And I'm gonna throw a chromatic orb. Yes? Of radiant, no, I can't do radiant, it's a chromatic orb. You cannot. Of acid at the mace that's embedded in the floor. Okay. So I'm trying to stop everyone from getting damaged all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do that. That is a 31 to hit that mace. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, it hits. I'm trying to work in my head. This is a uh, first left, so. Mm. 19 points of Acid damage. I'd say with, yeah, like, it does hit it and it pits the edges and things like that, but this weapon is made of something that isn't, like, it, magical metal or some kind. It is heavily resistant and it, it does pit it, but it, it really doesn't do that much to it. Um. Okay, that's me. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it just looks like the acid splashes over it, but this isn't like a normal mace, like it's some sort of magical weapon. In the same way that if I hit you guys with a magic acid spell, I wouldn't like, injure your weapons and things like that as well. Mm. Like, it does pit it and damages it slightly, but not enough to stop it doing what it's currently doing. Um, or like to hinder it in any way. You'd have to almost submerse it in acid for it to really kind of take that sort of level of damage. Um, all right, end of turn. End of turn. Ayla. I took my damage. I rolled a 17 plus 11. That's enough. Yep. I would like to pick up the weapon and yeet it 60 feet. All right. Yeah. So when you go to grab the weapon, okay. Uh, well, before you yeet it as well, I'll tell you. So uh, to pick up this weapon, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, you have to make a DC uh, strength athletics check, please, and you will take 30 fire damage. As you grip the handle, like your hands blister and burn, but yeah, athletics check. And you'd have uh, advantage because you're raging. 19 plus. Athletics. Like, athletics is like 11 or 12. <laughs> this hammer is, this mace, sorry, is incredibly dense and heavy. Um, unnaturally so. Like it's made of metal that is making it heavier and weightier. Almost the opposite to the Howling Templars, which is way lighter than it should be. 19 plus 13. Yeah, you, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> 20, 32. Uh, you pick it up. Um, you took the 35 points of damage. Yep. Um, you have a choice now. You can use this as a weapon, uh, and it deals 4d6 base damage plus 2d8 fire damage if you use it as a weapon. And it counts as a plus three weapon. Does it hurt me? It will, to use it, it will deal you five points of fire damage at the start of every turn you hold it. But the immediate effect that that kind of broken, cracked ground ends immediately. Like, hell yeah. What if I like 
if you just in throw the bag it, or something, uh, like can it, I? You can try. You can try and put it in like a backpack. Do you have a bag of holding, or is it normal? Backpack? We have a ha- haversack. You would have a handy haversack. You can try and put it in there. Yeah. Hmm. You're currently like. I'm imagining that like Howling Tempest is on your back, like you yeah. this thing. Because this is like a two-handed, like you have to put the Howling Tempest away. Is it like as big? Well, oh like, yeah, it's massive. Yeah. Like okay. Elwyn is a large creature, so a mace in her hands. It, this is like Sauron's mace, right? From from Lord of the Rings, like long, halved, huge, gigantic, flanged head. Okay. Like like Ayla's definitely. This is a two-handed weapon for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it. Um, All right. Can I? As long as it's not touching the ground, there's no flame effect. That ends immediately. The exhaustion stays, unfortunately. What if I was to... Oh, I'll, I'll figure out later. Okay. Um, can I... Can I <laughs> jump off the tower onto where Sentry Shithead is? Yeah. Elwyn. Absolutely. Elwyn. You absolutely and can. can I... So I only, that was my action. Uh-huh. So I only have a bonus action and movement. Mm-hmm. So my movement will be to use my own self as a battering ram as I go down. <laughs> so make a unarmed strike with advantage for me, please. Mm. That was a one. 16 plus 13. It's going to hit. How much damage did you do on an arm strike? Uh, I think it says 8. Yeah, it's normally 1 plus your yeah. strength mod. So 8. 8, and then your rage damage bonus is... Plus 4. So 12. I'll do 2d6 for the full damage. Max. You're going to take 12 bludgeoning damage, but I'm going to add, add another six. 12 to your thingy. 24 points of bludgeoning damage as you land. Uh, it does get halved, but as you land on top of her, you deal 12 points of bludgeoning damage to her. <laughs> you kind of land on her and then step back to ready to strike. Uh, my, oh, I can't do my, yeah, because my I'm here and I have bonus action yeah. aura of lightning. Yep. That's a successful save. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 points of lightning. The lightning damage again striking the chest where like the the starbreaker has nearly drilled in this like hole in through her armor and her chest the lightning has blasted her it strikes it again now exposing this blackened burnt rib cage and you can see her heart like th- even though like she's still alive and kicking like enough damage has been dealt to her chest the armor's been blasted and ripped apart and now there is this beating heart that almost looks like it's on fire it's covered in like these black flames <laughs> But yeah, this is like she is on the last few breaths that she has left. That's so cool. <laughs> End of turn? End of turn. End of turn. All right, a couple more turns and we'll go to break. Uh, but we're wrapping up close to a finish here, I think. Uh, okay, so we have Max, Lucius, and Quill still up. Quill, how high up would you say you are? Uh, I think I'm pretty much just along the battlement still. I was trying to use the wall of it to. Uh... Uh, hide okay, from so you're still things. still down low. Yeah. In that case, llama leaves from across the way. Oh, I forgot about llama. Point llama. their finger, <laughs> um, click their fingers, and a ball. They almost like gesture with a flick of their hand as a tiny chip of ice will fly towards you all, and then it explodes in a twenty foot radius. That's well. Oh. 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 Level. I'm gonna do that at level. Now casting a spell. Fifth level. Uh, you need to roll a d20 plus your charisma modifier, please. What? Hang on, I might portent it. What my portents again? Carry on. I don't have any. <laughs> 18. 18 Good thing is I didn't. enough to counter spell. Whoa! Sick level spell. Oh, nice. I do ice here. Uh, Actually, yeah. wait, I'm outside. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but you, you are, that's it, you are outside. So yeah, as the, the tiny piece of ice flies your way, you sense this like blue energy. And you know, this is, you know, the color of this magic is one you know, and just with a gesture, nice. you dissipate it, you erase it as if uh, erasing color from a, from a erasing paint from a painting. It just it's really dissipates. Hard to do. Smudges. Yeah. The Imbroth oh. looks your way. Oh, hey. uh, looking at you. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Take well, a you moved out of the insect swarm, didn't you? 
Uh, if it, so yeah, it was would have been over there. I yeah. think we should have done damage, but I'm not going to worry about it now. So I'm just going to okay. carry on. I, yeah. All right. Um, after Lamalies, we go to God. There's so many fingers. Just get so, rid of them. <laughs> how much do you care about Max kill stealing? <laughs> not no. Kill. No, because like we he, love he, boy. he will see what Ayla did, um, and he's still in the silence. So he looks down. He, Ayla, I'll just go. Yeah, join in! <laughs> and he just like nods his head because his greatsword is still like in like yeah. like wedging open like her armor. He has like no weapons, so he will just kind of like, <laughs> he'll, like jump down, <laughs> just like flying oh, kick down. I think it's, he's not elbow okay. dropping, he's not okay. wrestler, but he'll basically Chest just down. like or like maybe Superman punch his way down, just like <laughs> frog splash. Yeah, oh, uh, God. yeah, he will fly down. And you know what? Because he can technically do this, on the way down, he'll cast Blinding Smite on his mm. fist. Oh! <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Um, so this is... The only anime I have He watched. does have advantage. <laughs> Get ready for an epic it's, high five. It's a hit. Uh, he would only deal five points of damage with an arm strike, but the Blinding Smite um, will give him a boost. I wouldn't high five him now. No. It's blinding smoke. <laughs> it's just like I feel five. bad that the NPC is kill stealing. <laughs> no. He, no. He's he's the correct one. Three D eight extra radiant damage. Yeah, it depends uh, on the NPC. Nearly max. Fourteen. Seventeen points of radiant plus nice. the five from his unarmed strike for eighteen points of damage, as he just lands on top of Elwin like superhero punch into the chest cavity and the radiant light of uh, his belief in the Valkyrian Empire snuffs out the black flame and the heart stops. And the last thing, as you are all out of the silence, you just see the rage dies down, like the fire as the fire extinguishes in Elwyn, the fire in her eyes, the rage subsides, and there is a grateful, sad look on this beaten, bloodied half or this orc woman's face. And she just mentioned, she doesn't even say the word, she just mouths it, and enough that you can see, thank you. And then oh. the body goes still. And she's oh, damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Max. Hell yeah. Uh, then me, Max, and Ayla do a triple high five. Yeah. 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 Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> with strong. that, we Pretty are strong. hired you for a break. Uh, so we are going to take a break here, but we're still going to keep going because technically you still have one yep. magey boy and somewhere. So Godric Graves is up to something. So. Okay. Yep. We're going to join you. That's the it. That's it for part one. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you for part two very, very shortly. Bye. See ya. See you later. One. Welcome back to part two of High Rollers as we are in battle, having just defeated the War Knight once and for all. Um, the party are now facing off against the Famine Knight as Godric, the Death Knight, the leader of the Knight Commanders of the Black and Rose, has made their way back into their temple. In another part of the battle, Nova Vija was trying to do battle with Cerise, the Plague Knight. However, having been heavily injured, it fell to Hotshot the Guardian to sacrifice themselves with a powerful explosion to destroy the Plague Knight once and for all as well. Um, R.I.P. Live in our hearts, Hotshot. RSVP. Yeah. Press F. RSVP. Press F to pay respects. They're not going to RSVP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So we jump back in, uh, and I think that we're going to be hopefully finishing stuff up. I believe that was... Uh, so it was Sentry... Uh, Max just had his go. I think I went through everybody else. Da, 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 da. So yeah, we go back up to the top with Sentry. It's Sentry's turn. I'm going to take this opportunity to get a little heal in. Okay. I'm going to give myself some lay on hands points. I'm going to go 40. Bring myself okay. up to a hundo. Lovely. Love That's to see it. Nice. End of turn. Uh, and that'll be my end of turn, please. All right, Nova Vija, your turn is basically making your way to that entranceway into the plaza because, like, you are a fair distance away. So if you and Shade are just basically invisibly moving, trying to sneak your way through. Oh, Rhiannon, why are you making that face? Sorry, I'm trying to do maths. That's oh. right. <laughs> uh, I mean, you've got 65 and 40. <laughs> 
So you, unless you want to do anything else, I'm going to assume that your whole turn is basically maneuvering your way through the monastery, through the temple, to try and get back out into this courtyard. Um, so your turn is basically just spent moving, unless there's anything else you want Invisibly. to do. Invisibly. Invisibly. Anything else you want to do? Like you don't have messenger ring or anything, do you? So no. you're basically on your own. You and Shade. Really good having messenger ring right mission. now. But you did. We should say that you got ten points of HP back because Elwyn died, and that's yeah. your. Yeah. I just curse. didn't want to like after that Ruined cinematic moment. moment be like, ah, I just heal for ten. <laughs> we have Quill. Then Lucius. Um, Is anyone missing me? Is anyone from the party? Lucius misses Nova. Mm. <laughs> nice. So your turn. It's Quill's turn. Thanks. Yeah, on my turn, I'd Off like turn. to spend an entire action missing Nova. Yay! Okay. Right. Um, no. I am going to uh, guiding. What's the range on guiding bolt? <laughs> <laughs> guiding guiding bolt. Well, Good I can book. say that they are they are probably sixty feet from the from this circular tower, and you're about twenty feet on the outside of that. Oh, so they're about ninety feet. Fine. It's hundred and twenty feet yeah, guiding easy. bolt. So uh, I will third, fourth, fourth <laughs> level Ooh. guiding bolt. You are targeting the famine knight with a spell, yes? Oh, yep. Okay, cast the spell. Oh, go ahead. Cast. It all goes off as normal. Make my day. Let me check my notes. Yeah, about I forgot the about that. Night. Um, okay, plus fourteen to hit. For that. Oh god, nineteen. Uh, will just hit, just. And it's uh, forty-six, five, six, seven. No, the spell will trigger, but then I've got Quill has to do something at the end of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you remember like all the notes that we got about mm -hmm. these notes? Yeah. That Quill himself was the one who saw? Mm -hmm. Damage, yeah. please. Uh, 21. 21 points of radiant damage, and the next attack against them has advantage, correct? Yes. All right. Can you make a charisma saving throw for me, please? Char okay. It's not, okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. 18. It's not enough. Ah. Oh, luckily, I rolled very low. Uh, you lose. Do you have any second level spell slots left? Uh, I do. All right, can you lose one, please? Son of a... As you cast the spell, it drains magic from you. As you target a good creature, they open their mouth, almost unhinging it. Yes. And they suck in it's magic thing, power. I was aiming for her mouth. Mm -hmm. His mouth. His mouth. Um, the mouth. All right, end of turn. Uh, that is Any my movement? Uh, I am happy where I am, all right, uh, behind this wall. Um, Lucius flickers to life a chromatic orb, sees that, and then... Uh, <laughs> Dismisses it. Okay. He's going to cast Fly on himself. Okay. And he's going to quicken that with two sorcery points. Okay. Which leaves him to be able to move at fly speed, which is... 60 feet. 60 feet. Can I can I get to them? You want to get as close as possible? I think you would end up 20 feet away. Oh, I'm going to get you. <laughs> you like flying and, towards them. But it's... Captain's command first. Okay, love it. Uh, so you're at 20, you end 20 feet away from them. All right, end yeah. of turn, nothing else? Nothing else. All right, and then we go to Save Ayla. my reaction. Excellent, I think I can reach them. Uh, I would like to fly 50 feet up towards them. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, you can. Uh, and... Uh, when you get within 15 feet of them, you immediately oh. take 15 necrotic damage. Oh. As you get oh. close to them, again, something that Quill saw well, in the vision. Oh. I wasn't, I no, wasn't here. No, no, no. I didn't know. I, well, yeah, that's it. I mean, you got to get close anyway. Like. I mean, I didn't have to, but... You okay. got it. Um, yeah, this is the one that's what? strong against spellcasters, so... What? This is the one that's very strong against spellcasters. Okay. What is the damage that the hammer, the flaming hammer does? The flaming hammer, so it's 46 bludgeoning and then it deals an extra 2d8 fire damage. But you take five fire point damage at the start of your turn as well, when you're holding it. Ooh, cold and hot. Uh, that will be so nine plus 30, wait, no, nine plus, how much to hit? Because uh, it'll three. be, it's a plus three weapon. Yes, so, so it'll be 16, I think. If you're normal plus base. Six, yeah, yeah, plus 16 to hit. So nine so. plus is definitely going to hit. <laughs> so 46 base damage um, and then 2d6, uh, 2d8, sorry, fire. 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plus my plus modifier. Mm -hmm, yeah, plus rage as well. Plus 78, so 20 with rage plus. 
Um, nine, so 29 damage on the hammer <laughs> first yep. strike. And then... 2d8 fire. 2d8 fire. Which I rolled a five and a six on. Uh, so another 11, yes. so that puts us to 40 damage total. <laughs> That's oh one God. hit. Um, <laughs> oh. Like, that you hear bone snap as this huge maze... <laughs> I hit again. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to say now, we'll take that first what? hit. There's something, because Elwyn has now died, there's a change that happens with the maze. Oh, is it? The first, we'll say that for the first attack, it's, it remains this giant-sized shape and it still has the flame effect. When Elwyn dies, the mace shrinks uh, okay. down to like a more human-sized, like two-handed maul. So it's only two d6 damage, and it's one d8 fire damage instead. Um, so it's like it was enlarged uh, when she was using it, and then as she dies, like we'll say that as like you're flying away, she, that's when her life finally ends, and then it shrinks down. So it becomes like a normal flaming maul, basically. But plus three. Yes, it is still a plus three weapon. <laughs> And you no longer take the five fire damage when you're holding it. It just becomes like a magic weapon. Okay. Um, so 12 plus 16. 16. Hits. Forget me. It's weird. So now it's just 2d6 plus, plus 1d8. Plus 2d6. Mm -hmm. that was, oh, I, I forgot that when she dies, all of her weapons Perfect. become Six. mundane, basically. Or like not mundane. Where's the barrel? Uh, it wasn't a barrel that she had. It was like she had like an extra dimensional space. Oh. That she had Fifteen on the hammer, and then eleven fire. Twenty-six. And then deck save. And then a deck save. Uh, da, 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 da. I can find Final Fantasy fifteen. Yes, yeah. that's that's exactly what it's it's based on. Twenty-three, so I think this is halved. 14, 15, 16. So eight. That's the like 30 damage. In two blows, <laughs> Lamley's is looking very injured as he's like looking at you, <sighs> like angry and uh, a little bit afraid. Stay oh, mad. Yeah. Um, yeah. End of turn. Yeah. All right. On Lamley's turn. First thing they're going to use is a bonus action to teleport 15 feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Bye. Do I, no, I don't get a hit against them. And basically, if you can move them to the very far corner trucks, that's basically where they are. Um, there? Yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much where they are. Um, and now we can just... And then... Uh, da, 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 mm, looking between... Uh, they will look at Lucius. And uh, Lucius, can you make a constitution saving throw for me, please? It's a spell. It is a spell. They're casting a spell. It is the Blight spell. Ooh, icky. You've it. seen this one before, so that's why I'm just going to tell you what it is. Natural one. Uh, damage then. Double damage. Uh, this is going to be damage. base level. Uh, quadra damage. Mm, you're dead. Eight. I feel um, no, it's not drift bad. away. <laughs> I don't have. Yeah, you used it, didn't you? Yeah. What did you use? Them? I can't remember. I had 12 and an 8. That's right. cool. 28 necrotic I damage being cool. to you, Lucius. Oh, yeah, it's not too terrible for a blight, actually. And then against Ayla, so they cast uh, Blight, and then they turn with a black ray, they're going to point at you, Ayla, for a 27 to hit. Yep. Uh, so you're going to take... Uh, that's going to be 10 cold damage, okay. and your strength is reduced uh, by 2. Reduced by 2? Yeah. Is that a temporary thing? Uh, you would certainly hope so. <laughs> Um, I sure hope it does. Can I sure I hope it does. Yes, Lucius. Can I use my chromatic control in my reaction to change that to acid and then absorb it into my gauntlet? The the necrotic damage? Yeah. No, because you can't use it on necrotic damage. You can no. use it on elemental types of damage, your chromatic control. Oh, elemental. Yeah. yeah. You can't do radiant, psych uh, psychic, necrotic, or force. I don't know. Okay. I take it like a champ. <laughs> All right. Nice. Um, actually, I'm just going to say that for now. I might be wrong, but just because my brain is there, I'm pretty it sure that's how it works. kind of makes sense. I think that's how it works. I might be wrong because I do remember I changed it. So There's a magical effect, such as a spell or supernatural ability. Is this under chromatic control? Supernatural ability. This is... Or is this your gauntlet? You can attempt to draw the energy of the spell into your gauntlet's prism. Yeah. 
But it has to be cold or acid damage, doesn't it? That deals acid or cold damage, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll check it. I might have changed it. This, this is, is a chromatic um, sorcerer thing, because this is chromatic control. What I was going to do was change it and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I understand that, yeah. but for chromatic control, is, I'm trying to remember gotcha. if it only can... It can only Let's just rule damage. it as That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just rule it for that for now. Um... Who is on the ground? Sentry, you're still on the ground, aren't you, with Max? Mm -hmm. Everybody else is up above or flying. Yeah. Oh, mm. he's down. Does it, Max is chilling. Does it, does it say? All right, I think that might be, I think I might have gotten it wrong, but. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Uh, it's gonna Let's be just say Lucius was like, I could have chromatic I controlled that. that. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, the only thing Max can really do at this stage, he's kind of a bit limited um, without his weapon and with his spells mainly used, Ooh. is he will just touch you, Sentry, and give you a shield of faith. Oh. Plus two AC. Nice. Thanks, Max. He's got an exposed chest. Yeah. Mm. So I'm afraid there's not much I can do against a flying mage, so I'm going to take cover, try and provide support where I can. Each peck is okay. pulsing. Oh my god. Every god. eyes glance. <laughs> like a chameleon. <laughs> yes. And it is in fact century. Like... We go up to century's turn. <laughs> um, uh, is, I can't remember, is the ballista on that tower? It's not, is it? It's on this one. Uh. Technically, it is. It did get hit by a lot of things yeah. like ice storms and other spells. It oh, might yeah. be usable. Remember when I suggested that was maybe an idea that we had? Hmm. The that thing led is, us is, you couldn't all the way up to, to a teeny tiny off, room. Yeah. I mean, I'm big, but she's big. That's true. <laughs> How high is the tower? Is it twenty feet? Can I misty step up onto the top of the tower? Yeah, you can. And yeah. then pull the pull the blister off. <laughs> 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 it was going to happen eventually. <laughs> Do you want to basically hold it like a big gun? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, she's big got a gun. She has big gun. I would say bonus action, misty step up, action to pull the ballista yeah. off. You don't need to make a check because you're big. It is pretty battered. Um, <laughs> and there's like a couple of, there's maybe like three, in fact, actually I'll roll. There's three bolts left that survived all of the destruction and the oh. flames and everything else. But you're not sure how many attacks this ballista has before it's going to break. Uh, it's enough. like, well, it's burnt, it's like cracked, it's been smashed by ice, like, it's sturdy, but it's not that sturdy. Yeah. Um, all right. I'll just face so, it down to action, get ready. Just point it towards the mage. Yeah. All right. Nova Vija, uh, this is where you would enter into the plaza, right? So on your turn, we'll probably say at the end of your turn, you emerge into the plaza. Um, you can put these guys basically under the mage. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 he's, he's gone. He's gone. Um, he's but dead. yeah, so uh, you basically emerge. You're still further away. You're like we're just not on the map. Yeah. The, the cloister exit is quite far ahead. But you emerge, seeing Ayla like having flown up and like smacked this guy in the face. Lucius flying towards this mage. You see Sentry in the distance, like <sighs> pulling this ballista off. Um, but that's pretty much going to be at the end of your turn by the time you get there. Because I'm thinking like. 60 feet each turn dashing would get you to about here at this point. So I can't Eldritch Blast him. Afraid not this turn. Okay. Um, is Eldritch Blast technically a spell? Yes. Yeah, okay. It is, yeah. Um, I'll tell Shade as we get in, I, I'm kind of whispering to him, like... You're also in, still invisible. You and Shade are both invisible. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll be trying to whisper, hopefully whispering to mm -hmm. Shade or just myself, and just like, you stay out of this. You hide. You should as well, until you're more healed. The others have this. <laughs> Well, got that immediately. I mean, I, I, I can't see. <laughs> I just got it. I can't see Nova, so nope. I can't heal you. Um, I'm and if I oh. cast spells on uh, the Ember Elf, I lose assuming spells. they can do it in unlimited amount of times. Yes. <laughs> That's B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike B. Yeah. Is it? Mike B. <laughs> Maybe. Um. So yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Mark bait, <laughs> Come see, come sir. Not really sure. I'll tell you at the end of this battle if it was bait or not. Oh, it was bait. If we survive. Mm -hmm. If we survive. Uh. Queer Lek and then Lucius afterwards to get ready. Trot. How high up is this big boy? Born ready. Um, he would have been flying, I think, forty feet up. It's about forty feet above. Interesting. I am gonna fly to send. Wait, is it still silent there? Yes, technically. Son of a. Okay, I'm not going to go silent. to Sentry. Yeah, it is, yeah. The orb oh, of silence yeah. is still there, yeah. So Sentry's like ripped oh. in pure silence. Just in your head. All right, I will, I will fly... Sentry, stop! Sentry, stop! <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. I'll fly down next to Max. 
Um, and I will cast Guidance on him. <laughs> okay, on Max. Yep. He just said he kept doing okay, it. I think, like, yeah, Quill, he would probably be like, Quill, I, there's nothing I can do. i got a touch range on Guidance, and I, I, I don't want to... There's literally nothing I can do. I can do nothing. <laughs> Apart from flex my magnificent pecs. I'm unarmored. I have no weapon. <laughs> I'm reaching forward. You want to do it. For the net. Like, I can tell you now, on his turn, he's not attacking. He has nothing to attack with. I cast resistance on me. Hey, that's probably a bit better. Yeah, all right, sure. He could crush the ember off with his pecs. Mm. <laughs> all right, end of turn. P -p 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 yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Um, Lucius is continuing to storm forward, even though he's been I mean, back. 60 feet, I actually think I you can think I can make range. it, yeah. It's only a 30 foot range. Yep. If you want to just move yourself next to. Oh, he's dead. I died. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's very dead. Uh, when you get within 15 feet, you take 15 okay. necrotic damage. So, Mark, yes. en route, I'm going to um, quicken Armor of Agathis on myself. Okay. So you see the ice emerge as two pauldrons. Okay. And uh, I continue forward. I'm going to do that at level three. Sure. Which Just so you know, this uh, life drain effect won't trigger the armor of Agathis. It won't cause the cold damage back. Is it, it not? Has, it has it's to be an attack. It has to be a proper attack. Yeah, this is just like being near this guy, you take 15 as like your life force is being drained. Oh, it is a melee attack. You're right. Well, thank you. I won't do that then. In which case, I'll tank the damage and just swipe at him. Okay. You, you still technically have a d6 of fire damage as well, because you used absorbed elements. Hmm. Is that only Oh, that's the only next one turn. turn. Yeah, that's only for the next turn. That's a two for a 12. Uh, he brings up a, uh, you see like a, a coiling whip of black and ice kind of whoosh, knock the blade away. That's Lucius's turn. <laughs> All right. You're not going to armor of Agathos anyway? No. Okay. No, I was just wondering if he was armor. still doing it. Yeah. All right. Ayla. Uh, I'm still flying until the end of this turn. Okay. So I will hit again. Can you move? Yeah, sure. I mean, just put me at the bottom of the yeah, tower somebody... because I will drop Sorry, down after that anyway. How much uh, necrotic was it? 15, and that's the same for you as well. Another 15. Just being near this creature, like you feel it, it feeding off your life force. As I'm swinging my sword, I say to Ayla, I'm not good at this. <laughs> it's my first time. Really? No, I haven't noticed. Um, it's confidence. That's a nat one, <laughs> so that yes. will miss. Yep. Same thing, like the whip knocks that's the blade. That's a 19 inside. though, so 19 hit. plus 16. Yep, that's a hit. 2d6, so 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 total points of damage. Even though it knocks the first blow to the side, the second uh, clocks him on the face. Unhinging that Ooh. distended jaw. Then ten. Is it still fire damage? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one d eight fire damage. Oh, five then. Five. five points of fire and damage. And then a dex save. That's natural one. Perfect. Forty, forty, fifteen, sixteen lightning damage. As the hammer blow cracks down, you just reach out with a hand as lightning, almost like a, a serpent coiling down your arm, blasts in, catches the ember elf, passes through him, and you just see their eyes completely glaze over. Um, and again, you just hear this faint sort of like release. Whoa! Okay. They were they had, didn't weren't as sturdily built as the others. No. They, they definitely were more sort of like Lucius and Quill, a bit more sort of uh, fragile in oh. their and physicality. Got blown up by the storm chaser. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Um, as they are destroyed, their last eight hit points are taken away. <laughs> Three down, one to go. Nice. For now, we will take you out of initiative. Okay. As okay. There is no immediate threat in this <laughs> area. Oh, I forgot to take if there was any strength things minus, but I think I still did enough damage. Too. Yes, you would have. <laughs> My, oh. One one less damage was not going to change that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay. Things like your weapon damages, your strength being reduced, and your exhaustion do not go away yet. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we drop out of battle momentarily, perhaps, but there is no immediate danger. Um, okay, uh, is is Nova visible or still just uh, loitering? Yeah, loitering? After about a few seconds, the silence ends. 
Are we done? Are, 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 are we ready to go? I'm ready. I th- is th- it dead? It's, that one's gone, and so is the other two, I think. Other one. Yeah, that nice. I know of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good job. I think Sentry will just, like, sling the ballista over her back. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes. Yep, This we killed this one. Nice job. Thank uh, you. Wait, do you want to see where, where the, uh, 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 get, wait, Godric went? I mean, you all saw him go into the main keep. Like, the double doors are just off the map. Like, you can see the huge doors leading into the temple where this now broken, burning tree um, exists. One person heard it, but I don't know who it was. Because one person was like, you heard it. I know where Godric went. (laughs) Nerfy, you are right? As I'm flying above. I think as as you were all having this conversation, you just hear this babbling, like, hey, everybody, I went into the tree. But you can't see Nova. But she's just, like, word vomiting, like... Everything that she's done in the last however long this is. Am I far enough away that, yeah, I think I am just far enough away because I would land down there Mm -hmm. and Nova's not in five feet of me. But I would take a swing as a natural instinct. (laughs) Oh, you really? Okay. But I, no, but you're you're outside of my reach. Just. 13 HP, Katie. Yeah, but you're outside of my reach, but you started talking and you're invisible. She would have (laughs) swung. She would take a swing. Sorry, Shade. Sorry, Shade. Shade's dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, for the sake of ease, uh, you can all, yeah, like Sentry, you can make your way down the stairs, you join up with Max and Quill. Look what um, I've got. That's uh, Max nice. Watchley, that's a really Max big will go back bow. into the tower you're coming from and he will pull one of the great swords from one of the knight errants. Oh, nice. And he'll like grab oh. that. It's only, it's a mundane great sword, it's not a magical one, but he'll grab that. Um, and Does this dude have He'll look at the armor him? and like measure it and he's like, that's not gonna fit. Ah, fuck it. And he just puts like, he's kind of still got like his tattered cloak, so he kind of like. Nice. Slides like into like oh, the back of it. He's but, yeah, he's still top. No, he's still topless. Don't okay, worry. good. Yeah. Hey, why is Max and Lilia naked? Nova, Nova, uh, you're invisible. Please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I guess now I can see how. Oh yeah, Nova very looks bad. Like she's still got like the sinew of the plague oh, knight so it's sticking out of her body, like cuts and bruises and what blood. Happened? I blew up a tree while I was still in it. You got Wait, the that tree. was you? Yeah, you're fighting Cerise. You've got the the thing. The yucky. yeah. Uh, Wait, where's Cerise? she? Um, Hotshot <laughs> gave her life to destroy the the other one, the Plague Knight. We were gonna die otherwise, all of us. She nearly killed all three of us, but Hotshot gave her life. Shay just kind of like bows his head. His little. I'm. Um, um, I am the only one left. Sentry put her hand on Shade's shoulder. I'm really sorry, Sentry, but her Matrix is gone. That's okay. She did what she had to do to protect you. I, c- I couldn't stop her. I tried. It's o- it's okay. It's okay. I'm. I mean, look at what you've done. The, the tree is destroyed. That. That's never that helped back. us. Did it? What happened? Wait, uh, wait. Hang on. Before Godric left, I don't know if you could hear it. He was talking about going back into the keep to try and restore the rot heart. What? Yeah. Uh, oh. So I mean, I we can. I don't think we have time to rest. I think we need to go and stop. Yes, let's him now. Okay. not uh, use hot shots, sacrifice in vain. Nova? Oh, level nine. <laughs> <laughs> level nine heal. Holy crap. It's the only level I can do it at. Oh so you my god. 70, 80, 90, 100 HP. Jesus. What? Incredible. Well, she's officially got more hit points than me now. Uh, big heal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're all good now. Oh man, I feel so... Can you get this out of me? Sentry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big. <laughs> tiny. They just flick it out. <laughs> yeah, Max will walk over with uh, having recovered a great sword and trying to find pieces of armor. He's got, like, a shoulder piece that he's, like, managed to strap and, like, maybe one arm mm. that he's, like, pulled off, like, some of the, like, knight errants and, like, maybe, like, a couple of tassets hanging off his belt, but he's still, like, mainly naked. He looks, like, very much like a warrior in an anime where he's got, like, one armored mm. shoulder and then no other armor on and just, yeah. like, a burnt cape. Was it, like, Titus's dad? Jacked. Yeah, jacked, yeah, yeah kind of like that, or like yeah. uh, Rao Ban from Final Fantasy XIV, oh. he's kind of got like that, that kind of look, and he just walks up and he's just okay, like, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. it's not much, but I've recovered at least something. Um, oh. You're naked. <laughs> well, I'm not naked, I, I just don't have a shirt. My, my underarm was destroyed when she ripped my chest piece off. Can I give what? them maximum <laughs> hands, No, please, Sentry, it's fine. I, I'm sure, fine. I insist. No, 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 I'm uh, looking at the rest of you. I am actually... Lucius. Quill's heal restored me to full. I am okay. fine. Lucius oh. I think I'm the most... And 
healed out of all of you. Okay. Yeah. Lucius ducks in and puts his head in the sentry's <laughs> hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Heal the others. Yes. I have. I can restore a little bit. Who is still in Ayla? You. Uh, uh, he'll give you ten hit points. That's all he's got Ooh. left. That's all he's got. What? Ayla, how is your hammer? I saw you were swinging at the war knight constantly. <laughs> How stupid. Tom Hazel, <laughs> do you want to live? No. No, you can <laughs> Okay, then keep going. How's your hammer? <laughs> Is there any way we can repair it? Also, Century Starbreak. Do you want to take a closer <laughs> look? Smack. Guys, you really must press this attack. Yes. Godric is out there trying to repair the rod. I don't, I can't do it now, but um, if we can, if we can defeat Godric and we have some time, I'm a blacksmith. I can try. Oh, that would be that would yeah. be another thing you Hopefully. can't do. Uh, many things, but my my father was a particularly skilled artisan and blacksmith. If there's a, and there must be a forge here. If this is a keep, if they're isolated, they must have somewhere to to maintain their weapons and armor. I suspect they have a forge here somewhere. Uh, but we should deal with, as Lucia says, I think that we should deal with this Godric first. Has, uh, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Has ed- everyone what, got enough? Save words. <laughs> <laughs> has everyone got enough in them to? Oh, um, oh, oh, potions, potions. Oh, um, yes. um, does, do, who has all the death wards and necrotic resistances? Have, why didn't we drink those? I because have... you're going to fight Mr. Undead himself? Yeah. I have one necrotic resistance potion left. Me too. Do not forget, you must also still face Kalara as well. This mm-hmm. is only one step. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do two fights. This does last <laughs> an hour. I have one scroll of death ward. Who would like how a scroll of death ward? I think it's an hour. Okay. Yeah, they're all an hour. I mean... Yeah. We are pretty much going to back to back this, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, we don't have much time. You don't know. Like, if you defeat Godric, you might not have to go and rush into facing Kalara immediately. Possibly. With the Rot Heart destroyed, well, like, need Vala, so, like so. I mean, Nova had seen that, like, the without the Rot Heart, they can't regenerate bodies. Like, they can't make the knights again because that's mm-hmm. why it kind of ejected Cerise out early. Yeah. Oh, I also have a Death Ward scroll. What? Which one has got? What's Godric's powers? Remind me. Everything. Um, Godric. He's basically death. Um, he has yeah. a skeletal s- steed. Um, he could summon spirits and undead. He's got a scythe. Um, Giant he's got scythe. A big, big old scythey boy. He, um, he mm. strengthens the undead horde around him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he can command the undead to charge forward to explode, and then restrain oh. with shattered bone. Okay. Mm. Uh, the scythe crackles with necrotic energy, replenishing the knight with each strike. The skeletal harm hand harms the living and leaves wounds festering, unable to be healed magically. Just off the top of the dome. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, areas of silence, raised dead. D- yeah, he's never been defeated before. Yeah. Who's the other one? Well, let's be his first time. He's the highest first commander of the crew. First and last. Let's be the first. Yes. Given what we've already accomplished here, I think he will be hard pressed. We can do it. Is Sentry still massive? Yes. Okay, let's do the Sentry. <laughs> that lasts a minute, right? The enlarge. Uh, I think so. <laughs> was the necromancy potion? Was that yeah, this how we, we intended to use them? Yeah, I mean, by the time guy. this conversation ends, I by forget. the time you get into the next Maybe. fight, I would sure. just say it's gone. Yeah. Like any any it's spells or effects that last a minute or less. Mm. Just remove them, like they're not yeah. going to continue, they're going to remain in effect. Um, how long does it take to attune to something again? One hour. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chug a necrotic resistance All right. potion. Any, Gives you one hour one? of necrotic resistance. Yeah, I'm adding it in. All right. I have one left on me if anybody wants it. Mm. Has anyone else? The Nerva should have it. I've got one. I guess maybe I should have it. Okay, I'll give if mine to Lucius. If someone can do Death Ward for me, then and I, I won't have a death resistance. Ward. Okay, so yeah, well, one of these, well, one of these two needs to cast it. They cast it on you. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. they both Sentry and Quill can both cast it. Yeah, gotcha. So. Because I don't have resistance. If someone can cast it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what Death Ward death does ward. is when you, well, you might want to reconsider casting it on you because basically what it does is when you go to zero, you go to one HP instead, which you already get. I thought you said that I didn't. If it was like something that would outright kill me. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah, that's the only difference actually. So yeah, it, if it's something would so outright kill you, like disintegrate or finger mm-hmm. of death or stuff like that, that does count. Mm-hmm. Cool. He's probably got finger death, All right. And he, he did try and use it. Yeah, he did before. have finger. Yeah. So Ayla's death warded and Lucius's yeah. potion of. And I'm less than resistance. half health now, so just as I. Okay, well, I can give you my last 20 lay on hands as Wait, well. Wait, what are you at, though? 
I'm at 100. Yeah, we're about the same then. 10 each. Sure. Yeah, yeah, split so. What about the final death ward? Does anyone else want it? You should you. have it. Yeah, because you're the healer. <laughs> yeah. You. You're the healer. So I will... Shug it. Uh, yeah, I will uh, death ward myself. Yeah. Um, cool. And, yeah, in terms of, like, spell slots, I'm not terrible. I have none. Yeah. I'm at level one, but I'm a warlock. So. Yeah. Cool. You've only got one. Well, I'm only at, I'm at level one, but I can divine power and regain a few. Okay. So Lucius? Cool. Yeah, do you want to do that now, Sentry? Yeah, yeah. regret any, any Anything that you can do, like, on your turn, Maybe. you can just do now. But uh, this is not going to be enough time for a short rest. All right. Mm-hmm. Lucius is greedily downing the necrotic resistance and didn't hear you. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> how, are your, how are you magically? Magically, I'm pretty famished, but um, I've got a little bit in me. To Good enough going. to fight an undefeated. We don't have time. Okay, okay. We'll have to work around it. Uh, in that case... Always well, got cantrips. Yeah, Always well, got cantrips. Cantrips like cantrips. Like, create bonfire that doesn't create light. Doesn't... I mean, look, take it up with wizards, man, like... I've found a workaround. Okay, sure. Okay. I'm gonna Put wait. dancing lights on a bonfire. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait until I show you. <laughs> All right. All right. It's gonna come up. We'll Can't see wait. You next week. <laughs> it's gonna be so useful. Okay. Okay, we ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's head to the, the keep, which is where... Yep. He went, went, went right. Where he's expecting us. I will summon Tiangong as well, um, and chug a necrotic resistant potion, and tell Shade to go and hide somewhere. So make sure you mark off all these necrotic potions. Just want you being precious like, bean. Oh. Yeah, Shade is like, I can't help now at this point. Don't I'm want you done. help. And uh, you never did. <laughs> How dare you! Oh, wow! He's not wrong! No, he no, healed me. If he like, hadn't have healed me, true, I would have died. Down. That's true, that's true. How and dare he, you! He did do some damage at one point. Jesus! <laughs> How <laughs> dare you! Alright, so, I've got to think here, because I've got to describe this. So, mm-hmm. we can do it for you if you want. Huh? No. He's okay. not there. No, 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 no. When you, the double doors still slightly open from when Sir Godric entered them before, uh, you begin to pull them apart. Looking in, there is an antechamber where once there would have been a great font, like a fountain would have sat, now dry, empty. Uh, There are spaces that you can see lanterns would have once hung from the ceiling um, from great chains. All the lanterns are missing, just the chains remain. There is a spiral staircase that leads up to the side of this antechamber and corridors that lead off to the cloister and various other parts. But ahead of you is another set of huge ornate double doors engraved with symbols of giant iron fences covered in flowers with gravestones and mausoleums behind them. And standing watch over all of it is a woman in a veil, a black veil, with her hands outstretched, tending to a garden, uh, it seems. Uh, a garden, a mortuary. The, those doors are closed. But beyond, you hear the sounds of Gregorian chanting, uh, as if uh, a great prayer is being conducted, um, and muffled voice uh, offering some sort of like ritual is under being undertaken. Is it like a, a lot of voices, or it's a fair few? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a dozen, half a dozen. So that's all the friars in there. I'm going to step to the side of the door and look at Ayla and Sentry. <laughs> Okay. Ready for them to just, <laughs> if you want to. Mm-hmm. Personally, as Katie, I'm feeling like I've missed a couple of sessions. I'm not 100% in the setting of what this part is. This is a, this is a separate so place. This is, separate this is like a, this is and like, there's yeah. fires. So imagine that this, um, where you've been fighting is like the plaza, the courtyard yeah. of this keep. Imagine like um, going up to the main hall of a castle that's okay. inside the walls, and this is like a grand cathedral, like a huge temple. If you've, you've been to Bristol Cathedral, yeah. you kind of know that. You are currently in the antechamber where there's normally like a fountain and like side rooms split off, and then ahead of you is like a huge pair of double doors that leads into the main, um, the main area, like the main section of the of the temple and monastery. <laughs> Have we seen the friars before? Or yes, they have yeah. seen them. They've seen them. They are basically dressed in black robes. They look like monks. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, I don't think if you saw what they did. I 
can't remember. No. We know that they took down, where they were instructed to take down the lanterns, like yes. previously, yeah. because we okay. were talking about, because okay. one thing the Rot Heart did was make everything pitch black, yeah. and they took down the lanterns, and there's something about On the lanterns. On that lantern. note, the light is still dark, like this area is still dark, but it's getting lighter slowly, mm -hmm. as if, and you can see that, that the black mm -hmm. pollen and petal that was falling from the mm -hmm. Rot Heart has stopped. And now light is beginning to like it's like it's like dawning, as if like you know the, yeah. the night is ending. Huh. Okay. okay. It's like the end of Curse of Stroud, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> um, it's just. But yeah, in terms of like this area, we haven't actually been here before. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. No, nobody's been into the main. Just checking on the yet. friar situation. You um, know? Yeah. There's also celestials somewhere. Oh. That teleported them in. Oh. The knights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. was was this? W did, where did we see that light come from? The above. teleport light above. So in this building, but above. Directly above here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks like there must be a chamber above this antechamber that you're currently in. Oh, that's okay. not great. I'm gonna open these doors. Not really. I mean, I don't want to, but I think we have to. I don't ready. think there's any time for caution or stealth. Would he, would would he be here or would he be by the tree? Like this. Uh, this way leads to the, the oh, base of the tree. To the tree. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I can send a starbreaker. Go in and see. They're they're chanting. They're probably trying to pray the tree break or something. Let's interrupt it. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Right. Who's opening these doors? I can open them. I've got a starbreaker. Right. Sentry. <laughs> these huge doors. <laughs> You look into a barren looking chamber. The temple, the pews have all been cleared away. Where this once would have been a place of worship has been cleared out. Uh, you now see many, many hundreds, thousands of lit candles now lying the edges. Um, all lit, burning away different heights and sizes that leads towards the end that would have once looked out onto the plaza, the sort of grand plaza through a stained glass window. That window has been destroyed by the resulting explosions and now looks out onto the burnt, broken remains of the tree that is once there. Uh, there is once probably would have, there's an altar at the end of the chamber uh, and you can see that there are many, you can imagine sort of like, you know, the secondary uh, platforms of like, you know, a church, you've been in like big cathedrals kind of things before, these big archways kind of covering it, but you're basically staring down like a long, thin stone chamber, the end of which you see Sir Godric, plate armor, graying hair pushed back, holding up in one hand, a celestial, but their face is completely engulfed in like a metal black helmet. Their hands are like bound behind their back. Their legs are chained together. They oh. still have these black feathery wings, both still like curled up around them, but they're just lifeless. They're just kind of like, and he's holding it up by the neck as about six friars all in black robes on their knees are praying and chanting um, as Godric is holding this up and Godric himself is singing. It's like a, a prayer, like a mournful song prayer. Uh, to Kalara as he's holding them up. Um, you also see at that far end, gathered around the altar, gathered around where the stained glass window would have been, thousands of broken lanterns, like iron lanterns that have been bent and buckled and broken so they can no longer project light and they just are scattered everywhere. The only non-broken lantern is one set onto the altar beautiful made of a silvery metal engraved you can quill you can see the detail with your excellent perception you see like the engraved detail on it a holy relic like this thing you really it, not even whether it, whether or not it's magical it is beautiful in its construction this very elaborate multi-tiered uh, multi-chambered sort of lantern um octagonal you know in shape kind of thing um, it's the only one that's not broken, uh, and uh, the rest are all just scattered around it, almost in a sort of semicircular around the edge of the room. Very Dark Souls vibes. Yeah, mm. I'm thinking that. Tom's, yeah. Tom's, yeah. I'm seeing it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, <laughs> as you enter Godric, you can see he has he has the scythe in one hand, and he just looks in your direction. He seems to stop for a moment, and he releases the Celestial, who just like falls onto the altar in front of this lantern. Just lays there, completely still. <sighs> Godric turns. You can see, I forgot, 
Again, too many things trying to remember. There are also the undead that he had with him, the seven skeletal warriors and these three whites. Um, they are both all on the edges, almost like they were like waiting, like, you know, swords clutched between their breast. The three whites in prayer with the monks, they all rise with oh. Godric as he turns. The others are dead then. He looks towards you. Let this darkness end, Sir Godric. I wish I could. I am glad that they can at least know peace before the end. No more reborn. That is at least something I am grateful for. But I'm afraid I, I cannot end this myself. My body, my soul is sworn to my lady and even if I wish to, she would not allow me to deviate from the path she has set. But this is her choice. This is her, this is her choice. And if there is one thing I do before my end, I will enforce it, even if I hate it. Come, let us finish this. He just steps out, grips the scythe in one hand, and just gestures to this open battlefield. If you would see this business done, I am your last obstacle. And he starts spinning the scythe around him. Yes! <laughs> Can he like join us as an ally? <laughs> well, he's really oh, cool. He's, so uh, cool. he's really cool. Godric in the past would have. Godric in the past would have, without a second hesitation. Yeah, I'm so, also just imagining like the echoing like footsteps of all of us like walking forward and just. Oh, let me just add Max oh. into this encounter as well because. Uh... Godric and Max. Oh. It's too hot. Grax. It's too much. Max. Godex. <laughs> One second here, chums. Uh, if you want to roll your initiatives and just keep them in your head while I do this. Yeah. Just, I know you're focusing on a lot, but like, how hot? Though? Huh? How hot? Though? Like, Godric? Yeah. If you're into like, your, if you're like into your, your like older <laughs> older dudes, like, because he's got great oh, hair. Oh, come on, this he's is like, me. He's, he's in like his 60s. Like, he's like kind of in his 60s. Silver Foxy. Mm, no, he doesn't have like Lich King vibes. He's more like, um, what was like his, uh, the old guy, Uther? Like, he's kind of like Uther, uh, like the, the older paladin from World of Warcraft. Well, like revolver, he kind of has a bit of a revolver ocelot as well, like the long grey hair, like slight tash going on. Um, but he looks like hollow. He's got like one skeletal arm. Um, yeah, I do like my silver foxes. Uh, yeah, he's he's like, uh, is it Gilf? He's a Gilf. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 That one no. is denied. on the stream. No, no. You can have that one for free, Twitch. There you go. Lucius, you. Initiative. Where are the daddies um, in chat? 16. Where are the well, daddies? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, unnatural 20. All right, Ayla. Nine. With advantage. I rolled a two century. and a four. Ooh. A massive seven. seven. <laughs> Over. 12. Well, this is going to unfortunately have to be Theatre of the Mind because I don't have a button map ready to go. How um, far away are we from him? Then? So this this room, I'm trying to think like, it's quite long. It's probably like 100, 100 oh, feet long. Oh, like it's a 100 feet long chamber. You guys are at one end, he's at the other. Um, just really slowly walking me in the middle. Yeah, I mean, basically, oh, it's like yes. badass time. But it means that, like, ranged attacks, you can get a few ranged attacks off and stuff like that. But uh, And they're all, like, the skeletons. Yeah, the skeletons. Like, there's three and four on each side, um, and then three whites down by the friars. The friars are all around Godric as well. Um, yeah. I suppose he has the any indication of uh, an honourable 1v5? Six? Do the right thing, Godric. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? No, this is this is a battle. Like he's, he's going to enforce. The... He's trying to enforce yeah. his lady's will. He's not going to hold back. He's here. using the skeletons as well. Then yeah, cool. Um, all right. So wait, what? Sorry, is it my turn? It's your turn. Oh, um... <laughs> that's why I said will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I wasn't yeah. just doing it for fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, is there any particular position I can get in where I'd be within thirty feet of a lot of these? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's like 100 feet long and maybe about 40 feet wide, so like 20 feet on either side from the middle. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I'd like to get into a place where I can hit as many of these as possible in a 30 feet uh, radius out from me. What's your movement speed? <sighs> it is halved. Um, so 20 feet at the 15 moment. flying or 15, yeah. 22 ish uh, yeah. flying. Um, so 20. So. Whatever I can do there. 20 feet, you, you're still 100 feet away from him, dude. Away from him, but what about the the undead all okay. at the far end? Yeah, I will. They're all clustered around him. I'm trying to make it look cool. A slow walk towards him, but it's, it's actually I'm just exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, but I will uh, cast Beacon of Hope to capture everyone um, okay. for wisdom saves and maximum healing. So I'll concentrate on that. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. The three whites uh, will leap up, and you can see that they uh, basically will have like long swords in their hand. These kind of you know undead looking creatures, very grey, hallowed skin. Uh, just uh, much more. These aren't like they are undead creatures. These aren't like soldiers. These like leap up, <sighs> and then they just rush. They're just gonna sixty foot dash, thirty feet, and then thirty feet. They just dash in a line towards all of you. <sighs> Get sixty feet down the corridor. Cool. Uh, so about the friars will begin a death chant. Oh. Uh, when they take their turn, choose one friendly creature that can see and hear the friars. Uh, that creature gains three temporary hit points and a plus one bonus to damage rolls for each friar within 60 feet of them. And they're going to target Godric. Uh, yep. It's going to be yep. 15. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Six, uh, 6, 12, 18 temporary hit points and a plus six to his damage rolls. That's really cool. So these fries are like kind of this Gregorian chant. You see this like aura of shadow build around Godric. I can't <laughs> sing Gregorian chants. <laughs> Fuck you, Lucius. Lucius, seeing this, is going to fling a ball that's one foot diameter in length, one hundred feet towards the fries, and then it's going to explode in a twenty foot radius. Twenty. Uh, it's so it goes hundred feet. Yeah. And it's a 20 foot radius, so it's. Well, it can go up to 150 feet. Oh, okay. There's 100 feet the length of the. 120 feet is the length. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes the length and, and then explodes, explodes on the You won't hit as many. Friars. Well, the Friars, if you hit the Friars, you'll also hit Godric yeah. and you'll also hit the skeletons around it. That's oh, no. Yeah, oh, you'll hit everything. Shame. Basically. Yeah, so right. deck saves for, for everything. Yeah, <laughs> 18. Okay. Deck save 18, and this is acid? Acid. Okay. Which they can't be resistant to because of my elemental adept. Right. Well, the fries automatically fail because they are minions. So they're just going to automatically fail. Uh, the skeletons are not minions, though, um, and they oh. use Godric's uh, bonus. Okay, nice. Fail. Basically, they're going to fail unless I roll a... What was your DC, sorry? 18. 18. One saves. Okay. Uh, so the skeletons will get hit as well, and then Godric finally as well. Uh, uh, Godric fails as well. Oh. So everybody fails. Twenty-three points of acid. So twenty-three points of acid to Godric. Uh, that is enough to destroy all of the skeletons and all of the friars as well. <laughs> Sorry, me and Katie have just been watching Reed try to me. delicately grab a pretzel with a pen. With a pen. <laughs> this entire time. She still hasn't managed. It might be better if you use them like chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just go for it. It was a lot of patience. Just go though. for it, yeah. Um, oh. Okay. So you watch as the skeletons are just like destroyed by this blast of acid. The, the friars all collapse to the ground like, ah, as they just melt away. Better. Oh. Um, is anything within 30 feet of me? No. Uh, I don't command see the wall. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, just the wall. Okay. Uh, all right. I think if, you, just, if you walk, are forward, you staying at the far edge? Are you, you not moving any closer? Oh yeah. If I moved closer, whilst I was. If you move closer, the whites would be in range. Yeah. I'll hit a white. Okay. So that's seven points of dichromancy. Seven, seven points of dichromancy of massive damage. But you are now thirty feet within the room, so you are ninety feet from Godric and the others, and thirty feet from the whites. Yeah. All right. Uh, so the end of your turn. The end of all all of the skeletons are dead. <laughs> Nova Vija, then Healer, then Sentry. Perfect. I'm um, just making your life easier. Yeah. The Friars are all I'm dead. Gonna make my, I'm going to make my life yeah, more. The Friars, dead. Are, the friars, friars are, are dead. The Friars are all dead. Skeletons are dead. That aura is still on Godric because even though they died, that aura still went off. But yeah, they're dead now. Um, the skeletons are dead, so it's Godric and the three whites remaining. Three whites. Um, can I start Eldritch blasting a previously damaged white? Yes, absolutely. So you're all going to stay at that far end of the room, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Tian Gong is with me. I would have summoned them as we were approaching. Okay. Um, first one is a 29 to hit. Uh, 12 points of damage. 12 points of force. Okay. Strikes that damaged one. Uh, that is 16 to hit. Hits. 22. Uh, what? No, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 points. 
First two, not destroyed yet, but heavily injured. 30 to hit. Uh, hits. Nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Still standing, but nearly torn apart by these blasts. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 hits. Uh, seven points of damage. With that, the four Eldritch Blasts, the one that Lucius has already weakened, these kind of sweeping Eldritch Blades that fly through the air, tear one of these whites apart, killing it. Brilliant. Um, I will move... Um, I kind of want to get away from the pack of us, like, just in case of AoEs and stuff like okay. that, so I'll You would either have to leave this and go outside, uh, or move 30 feet up with Lucius. I'll move 30 feet up with Lucius, but kind okay. of opposite to So the two of you, yeah, him. on the far edges. Yeah, of, like, the, the, skirting. Yeah, okay, yeah, makes sense. I'm gonna leave Tiangong by the door, though. Okay, sure. All right, Nova. Uh, Ayla, sorry. Me. Um, I will rage first. Okay. Um, if I run 45 feet towards You would be them. 15 feet away from the nearest whites. Oh, that's annoying. Yep. Uh, okay, I'll walk up to where Lucius and Nova are. I'll pull out my bow, which I still have some magic arrows for. Sure. And I will shoot some of the whites. It's okay. not ideal, yeah, but two, it's two whites good. left. Um, 17 plus 11, two uh, plus, yep. actually 13, because they're plus thingy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> These guys have an AC of 14. <laughs> 11 damage. 11 points of damage. First arrow. Uh, seven plus eleven. Still hits. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen points. Second arrow slams in. Still standing, but two arrows deeply bedded in, kind of hampering some of its movement. No one's in my aura, so I'll just crack a little bit. So you are forty-five. So you're actually ahead of Nova and Lucius if you move forty-five up. Or do you want to move up next to these? I'll move up feet? with them so, because. Okay, we'll say yeah. that we got Lucius on one side, Ayla in the middle, Nova on the other side. Sure. So you're spread out as, as sure. equally as you can be. All right, Sentry. Um, I'm going to move up, so I'm with Ayla, Nova, and Lucius. Okay. Um, can I use the Ballista if I'm normal size? Yes, you'll have disadvantage with it, and it counts as uh, an improvised weapon, so it's dis. So yeah, it's disadvantage, uh, and it's not gonna be easy to shoot this thing. So it's just d20 plus your dex. Fair dues. Okay, I will then cast uh, protection from energy on myself and give myself resistance to necro. Oh, ooh. can't do necrotic. Shit. Hmm. Oh. Uh, or hmm. vitality, Fair enough. maybe. I will do. Sure, I'll do aura of vitality. Okay. And I'll get that going, so I can give you, I can give two d six healing to anyone who wants it as a bonus action. Maxed because of my uh, can hope bacon. Oh, yeah. to get that ready to go. Yeah, the wombo combo. It's back again, baby. Yeah. You do it on every turn. Yeah. You can use it as a bonus action. Yeah, as long as I've got it active, I can just go two d six, two d six bonus action. It's pretty spicy. It's pretty good. Yeah. End of turn. Yeah. So just to check, we have in a line. Yep. We have. Ayla, <laughs> I'll Nova. Uh, no, no, no. It's, you already said where you are. Yeah. It's, we have Nova, Ayla, Sentry, Lucius have all moved up, and you're mm -hmm. all thirty feet from the entrance. Mm -hmm. So yeah. thirty feet from the whites and uh, ninety feet from Godric, mm -hmm. and then we have Quill and Tiangong and Max still at the back door. of the room. Uh, I came in twenty feet. That's right. You came in twenty feet. My apologies. So I'm still at the back, but yeah, not not the door. I just wanted to be okay. next to them if something happened to them. How, uh... So... Well, near. Oh, here we go. Yeah, because I was about to say, could I do a quick reminder on something I've got in my notes? What would you like to do? I just wanted to tell, remind everyone of a thing that's in my notes about Godric. Sure. About Godric's turn now. out waves of yeah. energy to uh, hit anyone in a line. You know, oh. that's fine. Yep. Just... Well, if I'd known that, I wouldn't so have done that. Straight, I did say I wanted to move out forward. of the pack. And you did, everyone and then me. everyone joined me. We're in a long line anyway. So, like, it's yeah. fine. I would have gone 45 if I'd known that. Well, you didn't know that, because Tom didn't tell you. No, even even then, we're in a line from yeah. him. Like, yeah. I, I don't think... You're not in a line, yeah, you're in like a line across the room, like yeah. a horizontal we're line. Up a big, you're not in a big vertical chamber. line, you're in a horizontal line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've moved forward, so you're 20 feet away. Um, which side are you on? Are you on the side that currently has uh, Sentry and Lucius, or are you on the side that has Ayla and Nova? Sentry. Sentry and, and Lucius. Who did I say? Sentry and Lucius. Okay. So, Godric like strides just forward. Make and you guys get tired. He's going to move 30 feet up. So, he's now uh, 30 feet from his whites and 60 feet from you guys. 
Let the pathways show your souls their true nature. And he yanks forward, and from behind you, the floor streaks outwards towards Godric in a light, a golden light, forming like a pathway underneath Sentry, Lucius, Quill, uh, as a 10-foot pathway of light projects from under you. I need you guys to all make charisma saving throws. Oh, cool. You do not get Sentry's aura against this. Oh, great. Oh, I would have been out of the range of it anyway. This is very Charisma. Cool. Yeah. Charisma. Oh, good one. I've got a decent charisma save. That's 12. garbage. 12. 10. 10. 29. So Sentry, <laughs> I like this. This is perfect, actually. The Matrix is what protects you here. Because whatever is summoned, you watch as Quill and Lucius's body just slaps to the ground. Quill and Lucius, your souls are pulled out of your body and pulled 60 feet towards Godric. Oh, cool. And you feel like this spectral version of yourself yanked forward. And you are translucent, ghostly shapes. Um, you are now untethered souls on the ethereal plane. Oh. And you are 60 feet towards uh, towards Godric. Um, what? Uh, I will tell you now, panic. you cannot affect any living creature as a soul. Um, but you can move. You have a you have a thirty feet flying speed. Is having been kind of like this before, in some sense, when I was dead, mm -hmm. is there a tether? Uh, there is no tether, no. But you do think that if you were to make your way back to your body, you would be able to re-enter your body. Oh. Is it like when he's cast a theory on us before? Mm, no. no, this is a bit different. My body is still yeah, the yeah, material yeah. plane. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but the two of you, the, their bodies, by the way, count as incapacitated. Mm -hmm. So they're basically like unconscious creatures. If anything hits them, that's it. Count like it's gonna be crits and stuff if creatures hit them. While oh, ethereal plane, you move super slow there as well. And I'm currently exhausted. Oh fuck! It's gonna take so long for me to get basically back there. Basically, taking the healer out. Maybe. We'll find out. Maybe exhaustion doesn't affect you on the ethereal plane as a soul. Remember, this is your soul, not your body. I actually... We'll find out on your turn. When I was dead, I worked out a ton. Sure. So my soul is ripped. Ripped, yeah. <laughs> Super buffer. Uh, for the rest of Godric's turn, this is at long range, Just but he will... Oh, actually, no. Uh, for his action, he looks at all of his, his dead skeletons, and he's just like... I wish you had not have done that. And he'll ri raise a fist and he will cast Animate Dead at 6th uh, level and yeah. restore the seven skeletons to life. So disappointed, Dad. Uh, and then he will use his bonus action to order them to march forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they all 60 feet rush forward along with the whites. I'm not going to bother healing all of them. I will just remember that they have those hit points. Um, yeah. Maximilian Taldros. Uh, will probably his first instinct will be to like rush to Quill and be like, Quill, Quill, I, I can't, I don't know what's wrong with them. Ugh. And he will just, um, he'll take guard position over Quill's body. Like he'll, he'll basically be like, Shh. like if anything comes close, he will try and protect Quill's body basically. Um, can we see their magic? No, you can't see their souls. Oh, unless okay. you can see the ethereal plane. You, you, as far as you guys yeah. are concerned, Lucius and Quill just died. Oh. They just went, <laughs> Yeah. Spell flat face. Uh, Quill, I have some good news. Okay. You are not exhausted as a soul. Like you can move. You have a. You don't have your normal movement speed. You have a thirty. You have a thirty feet flying speed. That is it. Like you have a thirty. Even in flying the speed. ethereal. Plane. In the ethereal plane. And how far is he from his body? He is sixty, 60 feet. feet so yeah. death. You are technically closer to Lucius's body. Oh. Body swap. It's like Freaky Friday. Yeah. But I mean. Do I know that's a thing that can happen? No, but you could. I mean, I'm just, if you wanted to try, you could try. You don't know if that's even that's possible. But is, is Lucius? <laughs> you can see. You and Lucius can see each other. Fucking is he so even bad. closer to, to uh, Godric than I am? Yes, because he was thirty feet ahead. He then got pulled, um, and now so his body is closer. Um, you also, as a point, yeah. you don't think that anything can affect your souls. Like what? You don't think that like they can attack your souls, but they could attack your unconscious bodies. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So you are you are sixty feet from your body, and you're fifty feet from uh, Lucius's body. I mean, it, it, can I dash as well, or is it just thirty feet of movement? Uh, you can dash, I believe. Uh, but it is it is an action to re-enter your body. 
Right. Well, in that case... Oh, it's a bonus action, sorry, to re-enter your body. Oh, okay, so I could just... So you basically spend a whole turn getting to your body, and then next turn, bonus action, get back in, and then you yeah. get back to life. But it well, means that this turn, you're you're out. Like, I mean, I, I will... If I have any indication that flying back to my body will bring me back, then I will, yeah, dash over to... Dash over to your body. And my body and... Begin trying to merge, yeah. it, basically. Okay. Um, but I get really close to Lucius's body. Rush it. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I get vacuumed in. I'm going in your you body don't get too. Vacuumed in, no, no. <laughs> oh. You have to willingly go back. Okay. Into what if we both shared your body? Want to come in? I'm coming in. <laughs> All right. Come on we'll down. See. We'll see what happens. <laughs> End of turn. End of turn. Right. The whites on there go. That was really worded wrong. I just yep. played that back in my head. Yeah. I enjoyed it. That's right. <laughs> I said Godric fingered me earlier. <laughs> The two you'll whites. Have regrets. Okay, so the two whites <laughs> I regret nothing. are going <laughs> to rush. One is going to go towards Sentry and Lucius's unconscious body. The other one is going to go towards Ayla and Nova mm -hmm. and basically engage you both, like stand in between you both and try and engage you both. Um, it gets two attacks. It's going to make one attack against you. <gasps> it's going to make one attack against Lucius's Protecting unconscious Lucius's body. body. Okay, that's good. Good to know. So, because yeah. yeah. it would have advantage because he's unconscious. Yeah. So it's no way, Jose. Right, I'll do the first one against <laughs> Lucius because that's the most important. I mean, a flat Natural roll. one. Oh, okay. So if it had advantage, would have would have hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so you block it with Starbreaker as this thing tries to... And it like, looks up and it's... Like, Lishes at you. In fact, it's going to try and grab you with its hand. Oh, I'll give it a try. Um, it's within 60 feet of Godric. So <laughs> She's really riled up now. 19 to hit. No. No, even with your reduced AC, that's not enough, is it? Reduced AC so is minus one. Minus one. So yeah, twenty. 20. Yeah. So it nearly grabs you, and you can feel this cold. Can't like grab energy. its hand and just throw like, it. Off. And it's like, oh, and then it whips round uh, once again. What about Max? Is um is is a shield of faith? Is that? Uh, uh, that would have gone. Yeah. Gone, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one's going to run up. One attack against uh, Ayla. One attack against Nova. Uh, so we'll do a Nova. This is going to be a twenty-eight to hit. Just a little bit. Uh, with its hand, it's going to reach out and grab you for. Reach out and touch uh, face. Reach out and touch. Eleven <laughs> necrotic damage. Did you take? A I took a potion? resistance. So that's five necrotic damage. And can you make a Constitution saving throw, please? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. It tries to suck away some of your life force, but it resists. Against Ayla, it's just going to use its normal longsword. That's going to be a 26 to hit. Yep. Uh, it's going to use this two-handed uh, for a total of, wow, 11 points of slashing damage. So, yep, yeah, you're half, so yeah, five points of slashing damage. That is the white go. All the fries are dead. Lucius. Lucius is going to dash towards his body. And then begin the same thing, trying to re-merge. And then end with his it. quills. Okay, nice. No. Skeletons go. There's room for two. Uh, the skeletons are going to use their action to just dash, getting within 30 feet of the party. So oh, they're going to okay. rush up, they're now 30 feet, they're basically next to Godric. Uh, oh, sorry, 30 feet ahead of Godric, in between the whites and Godric, mm -hmm. but rushing up all together. Cool. Uh, you can also see that, yeah, when those whites struck, by the way, their accuracy and their strength was enhanced by this being around Godric. Like, he's physically making them stronger and faster. Cool. Uh, Ayla, no, sorry, Nova. Then Ayla, then Sentry. How far am I from Godboy? Uh, so Godric moved 30 feet up to so he's 60 feet 60 away from feet. you currently. And you could also have a white next to you. Mm. Stinky. Um, I'll attack the white then, please. Sure. Uh, I'm going to start my slashings. It's the heavily injured one. Oh, Ayla shot. Okay, really good at this. 13 plus 13 oh, is 26. Hits. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points of damage. One points of damage. The first swipe swipes through, nearly breaking it. Ooh. Rending its limbs, but not quite. Mm -hmm. 18 to 18 hit? hits. Whoa. Uh, uh, yeah. 12 points of damage. Is enough to destroy this one next to you and Ayla. <laughs> Cut through it. Um, anyone else around me that I can whack? Nope. There's no. One more. You could move, yeah, you same... can move over to the one next to yeah. the century. That's only like 10 feet away. You just need to take a short step up and engage that one. Godric is 60 feet away. Or there are skeletons with 30 feet away from you. Seven skeletons charging down the middle of the, the chamber. Mm, I'm going to get swarmed by those dickheads, aren't I? I'll start on the other white. So you move 10 feet and you start attacking the other white. Sure, go for it. 13 plus 13 is 26. It's. 
Turn number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage. Third strike of the blade, cutting through. Almost a double kill. Almost. Almost. No. Uh, no? Nothing uh, else. I will have Tiangong move up 30. Yep, yeah, 30. 30. Yep. So just about 10 feet ahead of Quill. Yeah. Okay. All right, sentry. All right, I'm going to attack this skeleton boy that's trying to get Lucius. Yep, the white. Yeah, that ain't happening on my watch, sir. Sir. 19 for the first one. 19 hits. Awesome. All right, I'm going to do... undead. Cool. So I get, I'm going to do a three, yeah, just standard attack with the free D8. Yeah. Well, you also get one D8 all the time, I think, as well, because you have improved the divine smite. Yeah, I think I'll do two as standard, yeah. and then... A third one. A yeah. third one. Sure. Yeah. Rock and roll, buckaroo. Rock and roll. Eight, ten. Eighteen plus seven. Twenty-five? Yeah, yeah. Twenty-five. <gasps> I did nearly it! Nearly destroys it, but oh. leaves it just barely hanging on. Okay. And this is so cool, all of us just using our movement speed, just 15? smashing through everything as we go. Fifteen to hit, hits. Oh, sick. All right, don't, roll, don't worry about right. You can roll for the stats, but it's dead. It had four hit points left. So the second strike... <laughs> She ripped the second white apart, leaving these scattered bodies on the ground. Nice. Um, clearing the way now, just a wall of skeletons between you and Godric. Uh, awesome. All right. Can I bonus action, like... You absolutely can. Try and use my healing uh, thing on Lucius, just to see if that would help? Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, uh, so if... You don't... Yeah, you use your bonus action, it does nothing. Unless okay. Lucius has damage to heal on his body, do you still have lost hit points? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it, it heals those. 2d6. It just doesn't help you re-merge with your... Lucius! 2d6 Lucius? max. 2d6 max, so it's you get 12. 12. Am I still concentrating? Am I still concentrating? I would say that you are unable to influence the material world, so no, the Beacon of Hope. Oh. It's still concentrating, so when you come back, it will be active yeah. again okay. right now. Because okay. it's it's using you as a channel to enhance oh, the healing, right? I should have right? held it in Elder Quill. You get eight healing. That's, That's right. Cool. Thank you. That's all right. I'm just, just yeah, freaking I'm gonna out. I'm going to say that you have to be present, and you're currently not present. Sure. Yeah. Because um, actually, also, you're incapacitated, so you would lose concentration. But my soul... Is not incapacitated. It's not incapacitated. He's just on another plane. Make a make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay, it's Let's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, like no, no, this, like a concentration. Fifteen. Fifteen total. Yeah. I would say you maintain concentration, but you can't use it. Not when right you're now. Incapacitated. Sure. Yeah. All right. Century done. I'm done. Thank you. All right. Godric's turn. Uh, he will. Uh, oh God. <laughs> things here. Oh, you've got like half and half. Split down the room, haven't you? Uh, so, let's go, Godric. No, it's only me Nova on the other side. The other now. side. Nova moved to the other side, so it's Ayla on one side, and then we've got Nova, Sentry, Lucius's unconscious body, and then you've got Quill about ten feet behind yeah. him, haven't you? You're about Whoa. thirty feet behind, aren't you? What's he gonna do? Oh, no, so yeah, he moved ten. He moved twenty feet. Oh, up, so but I think you guys might have moved oh, okay. forward a bit. Okay. Yeah, I can't do it. You can't do it. You're no, right. You can't. He actually can't do it. Could I bother? Me. That's a shame. Uh, what a shame. You can cast that though. Yeah. Ooh. I need. To, I need. Sorry. I need to look it up. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't properly tag my spells on my custom monsters, so I have to look it up like a pleb. Ugh, uh, what a loser. Okay. He will move thirty feet. He's now thirty feet away from you, just behind his army of skeletons. Okay. And he will swing his scythe in the air, and a circle of death will appear. A rippling, a sphere of negative energy ripples out in a 60 foot radius from a point within range. He will hit all of you, including Max. Feet, Each creature in the region must make a constitution saving throw. Bodies, I need to check how that affects you. I think you automatically fail. Yeah, I feel like we would. Uh, incapacitated. Natural 20. Uh, hang on, don't just hold on to it. <laughs> Keep it in your head. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm doing, there's a lot, a lot of things going on. Uh, an incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions. So you, you can make the, you still make the saving throw. De uh, unconscious bodies. Okay. Um, I rolled a five. Let's go, Bod Squad. Constitution, was it? Sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Constitution. That was great. Not bad. Oh. Yeah, why are you rolling? You're not unconscious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're just normal. Well, you still roll. I still roll. Yeah, I still roll. I just roll. Got body. Max Got roll. body. Got roll. Hot little body. So, 31. 31. 17. Fail. Oh. Seven. Fail. Fail. 11. Fail. Uh, so Ailey, you're the only one who succeeds. Everybody else is taking 8d6 necrotic damage. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, I'm resistant. Resistant? Yep. Oh, I'm also resistant, yeah. I'm not. Oh, that was oh, terrible. Oh, my God. 
Oh, gave one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Fifteen necrotic damage. Whoa. Ooh. Seven. What from a sixth level spell? I should be on half. You get a nat twenty against if me. If you have too. resistance <laughs> against necrotic, no, no, but if I save, oh, yeah, it'll half, fucking destroy so me. Seven. All right. Anybody who so fifteen to the failed. If you have resistance, both seven. seven. Six level spell. I roll. I rolled five ones. Tasty. Five oh. ones. Let me just. I'm gonna. I want to see how much I could have done. That was a bit better. Yeah. There's three sixes there. 18, 20, 25, 31 on that roll. So yeah, considerably better. Um, what a shame. Them's the dice. Spell casting. <laughs> he's to Ooh, sorry. So he casts. He casts that. <laughs> And then he's gonna throw his scythe. Okay, he does. He's gonna throw at Ayla and uh, Sentry. It froze in my hands just like this. <laughs> uh, 22 to hit Ayla. Yep. Oh, sorry, 21, sorry. Yep. Uh, actually, sorry, he has disadvantage 20 to hit. Just. Just hits. Sentry. So this is on range. Uh, that is gonna be 19. No, I'm at 20. Misses. Okay, so he. And as he throws the scythe, it spins and it returns, and then he throws the second one. Damn, that's Manages cool. to hit Ayla. Uh, D10s. <laughs> you got to respect it. I can't respect it. I just. <laughs> I, c- I can't hate this guy. 19 slashing, half to 9. You, Ayla. And then. Necrotic. Necrotic. Uh, for 17 necrotic damage. Oh my god, that does a lot. This is a lot of. This is a lot of damage. I'm... I'm under 100 again. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we don't have much left in us. Nor does he. Damn it. One Maximilian yes. will lift his blade and he will let out a rallying cry. Let not this darkness take our light. Flames of Gideon, let us do battle! And he will cast Crusader's Mantle, which oh. means everybody does 1d4 radiant damage on any attack. Oh. oh. One bonus I d4 love damage. Him. Attack melee? Uh, yeah, I think range attack, as long as there is an attack roll, so like dexterity spells okay. and stuff, it won't affect, but any range attack roll. D4. D4 okay. extra damage. Thanks, Crusader's Max. Mantle, uh, within 30 feet of him, as long as you're within Thanks, 30 Max. feet of him. Cheers, well, I'm a body. Right, and I <laughs> think 30 feet. We, that is a brand new round. That's going to be where we have to end it. No, this uh, week. no, I, mean, I just no. Like <laughs> got a new bullet point one though. Like ten, round. It's like one ten two. Round. Like Sam's going to go. Yeah. 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 This is one of those situations where I wish we could do like five hour episodes, but we can't. Hey, um, <laughs> well, we're going to have to fight this boy, the Next. undefeated knight of bitching. <laughs> can't remember which one he is. Kalara of the Kalara. Black and Rose. Yeah. <laughs> but the Order of the Black and Rose. No, oh, death. Uh, death. Yeah, death. Knight of yeah. death. Uh, we'll find a little custom time. death knight. Yeah, stay um, tuned. Yeah, he's still doing his slow badass walk up. He's not oh, so we. serious yeah, yet. Yeah. Well, we're, we're making slowly walking. Well, not yeah. malicious. Yeah. I mean, All right. I'm standing over you, so you don't see him. I'm Thank you so kidding. much for joining us. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much. We will see you next time for more High Rollers of Rois. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>